All right, guys, welcome. So I know I said we were going to do some dying light, but temporal forces, I was able to get my hands on it today. So I wanted to jump in today, um, start working towards my max master set. As you guys know, um, I actually have already done a booster box on the channel. So I was able to actually get a fair bit of this set already. Like it's actually kind of crazy how much of the set I already have done um, for the SIRs. Cause I know that's what people are interested in. I've already got my hands on the raging bolt SIR and the Morty's conviction SIR. So I've already gotten a couple of SIRs. I got a couple of full arts done already. Um, I got a good chunk of the reverse hollows. A lot of stuff has already been, um, been done now uh a lot of the illustration rares i'm still missing i'd say a good you know 60 percent of the set or so but uh today we're gonna go ahead we're gonna open up uh so the etbs were released so i have one of the iron leaf east etbs and one of the um walking wake etbs and both the reason why i have one of each is because they come with a unique uh, promo card which I need for the master set um, this one comes with the iron thorns promo and the walking wake comes with the fluttermane promo so there's two different promos there and um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna we're gonna crack into those first and then I also have some booster boxes I have a bunch of them uh, we're gonna start off with probably two after we're done with the two and the ETBs, we'll see where we stand on the master set. Um, and then from that point, we will make come to the conclusion of whether we're going to do uh, another booster box or what. So we'll, this, we're, this, is we're, this is what we're going to start with. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's just crack right into these ETBs. Wait, wait, Dad. Before anything. All right. Well, how's everybody doing today? I already did, though. No, we'll do that later. Um, so one of the good things too about this ETB, um, the ETBs is uh they do come with the set list, the book here that shows every single card in the set. Um so at least having one of these ETBs is nice because you can reference the book here, you can see what order the cards are supposed to go in in the binder. Um, it shows, you know, so that way, and even has like little check boxes and stuff for you to mark off whether you have them or not. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a ton of cards in this set. These are obviously all the cards we're going to be chasing back here. All the illustration rares, these are all the full arts. There's some really nice looking cards in this set, guys, like some really, really nice looking stuff. Um, so yeah, we got the, uh, the book. That's what we're going to be using to reference. Your ETBs come with your standard goodies. Um, I believe these are nine packs in each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we get nine packs. You just got one of the Gengars, dude. The Gengar is sweet. I have. I don't have the full art Gengar. I have the. Um, I do have the regular EX though. So this is the promo. Yo, that promo is really, really nice. Actually, I kind of really like this promo. Let's actually get that out of this plastic so we can look at it. So this is one of the futuristic versions of Tyranitar. But yeah, it's Iron Thorns. It's a really, really dope promo. Let's get that sleeved up. Uh, how many sets am I currently building right now? So I've, I've officially finished... 151, I've finished um, Paldane Fates, and I'm currently working on Evolving Skies, Crown Zenith, and Temporal Forces. So those are the three sets I'm working on right now. Uh, Evolving Skies is very expensive. Very, very expensive. Um, so that one's going to take, if I ever finish it, it'll, it's going to take ages. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you guys real quick. These are the sleeves. That can come with the ETB. They're really, really nice. I actually kind of like the color scheme on those quite a bit. That's the... Obviously, you get your... Wow, the deck separators. They're hollow, too. Those are probably the nicest separators we've had in a few sets. Those are really cool. The card separators. Um, obviously, it gives you a pack of energies. And then you get your other stuff to play with. 
Uh, that's the good thing about uh, an elite trainer box is if you are trying to get into the TCG itself, just playing, um, it's a very good uh, starting point. Gives you pretty much everything you need to play. Yeah, so Temple of Forces, I really didn't know how I felt about the set initially. Um, I was like, I don't know if I'm really going to go ahead and, and open this set. Uh, then I started looking at some of the art, and I was like, yeah, actually, I really, really do like the art uh, on a lot of these cards. Um, so, yeah, that's why I pursued it. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just getting all the packs and stuff ready. That way we can just start ripping, guys. My son already opened up hit, uh, one of the ETBs earlier, and... Uh, he didn't get any crazy, crazy hits. Global card. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Alright, so another nine packs. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, the plus the game. Okay, so this is the promo card for this box. So if you are trying to do the uh, the master set and you want all the promos uh, in your master set, which most people do, uh, you're going to have to buy at least two ETBs. Generally, ETBs aren't bought all that much with these kind of sets just due to the fact that they have booster boxes and um, you get way more packs uh, for the for your money. If you go towards booster boxes, but yeah, this is actually a pretty cool card. It's hard to kind of make out, but like Fluttermane's right here. It's like a nice dark background with the grass. It's like it's a pretty cool looking card. It's kind of like the Charmander one from. Oh yeah. And then the grass one. So this is the deck sleeves for this one. Those are quite nice, and then the card separators for this one. These card separators are really, really nice. I actually really like those. All right, and then obviously your Dyson stuff. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off real quick with 18. So Arizo, I showed it last, uh, towards the end of the stream, maybe I'll take a minute and we'll, we'll, we'll check it again. I, um, I actually built myself um, the original 151 in a, a binder. I went through, I, I, so that's my other master set I have, actually. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get this going. So ETB1. Got a lot of packs to open today, guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be painful on the old fingers. Um, I gotta see. I, I can already see we got a hit in this pack. Yeah, it's probably just an EX. Wait, Dad, you know that full art that I pulled? I got that on my first pack. All right, Metachamp, yeah. Tranquil. Palpin. Ooh, Palpin. okay, so we got a reverse hollow. I obviously reverse hollows. We're going to need most of those. And we got the reverse hollow screams out, which I already have. And a Wug Trio EX, which I actually think I needed. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, Palfin and Wug Trio were definitely memes in the last set. So we got an EX hit, first pack. Uh, now, when, the the good thing is when you're built when you're opening cards for master sets, um, I I personally feel it's a lot more re rewarding. Um, than when you're trying to open cards for just making money or or getting the big hits because. There's times when you open a pack and you're happy to pull commons and uncommons because you needed them. You know what I mean? So that's why I personally enjoy uh, master sets. This might be a hit too. Okay, bronzer. The thing is, is I don't remember exactly what cards I'm missing, so I'm going to have to skirt through these. Buddy, buddy, poppin. Zero. Okay, reverse hollow boxed order. Reverse Hollow Melton and no drop up. Just a normal hollow. Uh, so the internet guy said that uh, my internet is fine, but uh, there's something going on from my router to my computer. They were he's saying that he thinks it's my network adapter and my PC is not having a good time but i was like because uh, i just did have a windows update not that long ago so i don't know if that that's what's causing it all right so let's go mime raichu 
Anyway, so there's some really nice art. A lot of these cards are all brand new art. Um, there we go. So we got a reverse hollow Wimscott. Reverse hollow Beheim or Behem. And Gengar EX. So these cards are actually quite expensive for being a normal EX. I don't know if it's because they're like super, super meta right now in the game. Um yeah, because if you if you look at this attack here, tricky tricky steps, you may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon. All right, that is OP. On top of the fact that this is a hundred and sixty damage attack for only two energies, so I think I understand why this Gengar is so expensive. This thing is fucking super meta, dude. Uh, Max asks, have the unboxing streams been getting enough views? I don't do these streams for the views, Max. Um. The way I look at these streams is I'm going to open these cards anyways. So it was either I sit here and do it with you guys on stream or um, I just sit here and don't stream and do it anyways. You know what I mean? So whether it gets views or not, um, the the cards are still getting opened. So it's kind of one of those things. I would just take the night off, you know what I mean, and open the cards. But I figured why not come hang out? You guys can ask questions if you have anybody. And yeah, if anybody has any questions that aren't even Pokemon related, you know, we kind of use these as a whoops, hit my camera. Yeah, like a Q and A type of deal too. I I'm not playing Dying Light. No, I don't have enough time. Dinner was super late. Um, I had to go pick up my son from school. By the time I got back, ate dinner. I didn't have as much time as I thought I was gonna have to because I was gonna do this stream and Dying Light. Well, Dying Light and then this, but I just didn't have enough time. So we'll just do Dying Light tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right. There is a full art ghastly that I definitely want to get in this. Okay, so we got a reverse hollow rescue board. Reverse hollow Medicham. And Mariadon. Yeah, when you're chasing a, the master set, it is. But I already have Mariah down. Turn off the light adjustment. What light adjustment? No, this should be fine. I, I already turned off the... The the one, the other one makes it too dark. All right, so here we go, guys. Scream tail regular Sableye, Iron Valiant, Reverse Hollow Ponyta, which I think I actually needed that. Reverse Hollow Hoot Hoot and Fluttermane. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I might do Sons of the Forest tomorrow. I don't, I don't, no, no, actually, no, we're not doing Sons of the Forest tomorrow. No. Um, I believe, uh, what should we call it? Is it available tomorrow? Um, what the hell's the game? Uh, Dragon Dogma 2 comes out on the 21st. I thought it was the 22nd, but no, ooh, whoops, I hit that. I gotta get used to having this in between my legs, chat. There we go. Um, adjust a little bit. I thought that um, it was going to be available on the 21st or the 22nd, but no, it's actually the 21st, so. Okay. So most of these cards I have, I'm, like, pretty positive. I got to take a look. Um, there wasn't too many, like, regular cards in the set that I was missing. Okay, here we go. Big card. No. I do need a lot of these reverses, though. We do need a lot of these reverses. And then cry it on. <clears throat> no, nah, I'm not going to be doing Forbidden West, only because I wasn't prepared for it, so we're not going to do it tomorrow. Plus, we just started that Alone in the Dark today. Um, I was not prepared for Forbid Forbidden West because we got... Um, we got Dragon's Dogma coming, and on top of Dragon's Dogma, we also have um, 
What the hell is coming out Friday, chat? Um, yeah, we got Dragon's Dogma and um, the hell's the other game? Brain fart moment. There's another big game coming out on, or on the 22nd. I forgot what the hell it is. Somebody in chat will say it, and I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah. No, it wasn't Forbidden West. Rise of the Ronin. We have Rise of the Ronin. There, there it is. Hand Trimmer. Reverse Hollow Tory Cat. Reverse Hollow Rapidash. And Mad Cargo. So, so far, guys, we are getting absolutely shit on right now. Like, it, it's, it's not been a good box so far. Yeah, Rise of the Ronin. So, we already got those two games, which is more than I can handle my bandwidth. <laughs> Uh, that's why I'm actually doing one of these type of streams because I don't want to start any new games and um, We got so many new games coming out that I can only afford to kind of do one-offs and um, You know in preparation for the rise of the Ronin and I would love to do Forbidden West, but uh, Because it is a game I've already played it is slightly lower priority Shift three Bianca's devotion come on this 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 next card has to be a good... Oh, I actually, I needed this, I'm pretty sure. Here we go, chat. Banger, baby. God damn it. Whatever. One more pack. So this ETB has been actual garbage. We've gotten two EXs out of it, but... All right, here we go, chat. The last pack magic of the ETB. Can we get a hit? Let me get that chat luck. Here it is. Wiglet. Melton. Shaman. Cybermedics. Code breaking. Vivic Bolt. Okay, here we go. So we got a reverse hollow Meditite. And... Reverse hollow Lycan Rock. The ETB was trash. It was trash. But we got another box. You guys think this pack is it? I, I got a I got a good feeling about this one. Well, I already see we got uh a hit, but or not a hit. It's just just a regular freaking rare. But that doesn't mean that there's not a hit before that. Okay, Bianca. Okay, reverse hollow Puccina and show me the button. God damn it. Whatever, dude. Oh, chat, I already see it. We already got a hit. So in this set, you see that pink? In this set, they have what's called A-spec trainers. There's six or seven of them in the set. I already have three out of the seven. Um, so, and we just pulled one. Hopefully it's not a dupe of one we already have. That'd be awesome. Three, here we go. Come on, baby. So I seen that A-spec trainer. So it's Awakening Drums. I already have this one. But still pretty dope. We, we pulled one. Breloom, Reverse, and Mag Cargo. It is definitely. It was, it was a dupe. I appreciate the negativity, Uro. I appreciate it, man. Putting that bad juju on me, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah. This is how today's gonna go, to chat. I don't even fucking want to open these booster boxes, dude. All right, here we go. We gotta get some fire, chat. We gotta get some fire to, to to pump us back up. Get us, get us back in it. Get us back in it, right here. 
Here it is. Bam. Bam. Ooh. Full art Bianca. So I actually, I think I have this card though. God damn it. Let me see. So we got a full art Bianca's Devotion. Let me bust open the... Let me bust open the book real quick, chat. Let me bust open the book. Um. God damn it. So we already got Bianca. I could sell the dupe chat. I mean, it is what it is, but still. The goal is to build the master set. You know what I mean? Every 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 dupe we pull is one less pull that could go towards the master set. All right, guys, come on. We need one more, at least one more hit out of this box. Eat more. Okay, so reverse hollow slugma. Actually, I think I needed this iron valiant. Yeah, I'm pretty positive I needed that card. That's the, because the, there's like two iron valiants in the set. One is a rare, one is an uncommon. And I needed the rare one, and that's what that is. But it's still not a hit. All right, here we go, guys. Come on, baby. Okay, there it is. Here it is. Bam! Oh, shit! We pulled the full art Arbok. I actually needed this card. There it is, baby. For a lot of you guys who know, like, the original Pokemon... Arbok is one of the OGs, let's see, of all form of Ekans. And last but not least, we had a Roaring Moon. Yeah, that, that, was, that was it. There it is, guys. I love the art on, these, on that card. It's pretty fire. All right, so we actually got, what? Four packs left, chat? Oh, yes. Here we go. One can we can we get one more hit, chat? Can we get it seems like each box gives about three hits. And I think we already got three out of this box, but the last box only gave us two hits. So maybe this box will make up for it. Grubbin, Medicham, Great Tusk. Salvatore, Bronzong, Reverse Hollow, Colsai, Col Colossal, Reverse Hollow, Haunter, and Iron Thorns. Man, I really just want that Ghastly chat. We'll be super lucky if we can get the freaking Ghastly. Do you guys, all right, do you guys think I'll get the Ghastly tonight? Like, be honest, be honest with me, chat. You guys think we'll get the Ghastly? I want the full art Gengar. I want the Ghastly. And I want the Iron Thorns. Um, SIR. We're, we're, we're going to get the Ghastly tonight, chat. I, I, I gotta feel, we're getting the Ghastly within these next two packs. It's coming. I can feel it. Here we go. Iron Hands. Toad Isle. Boom! Nothing. Ooh, so the Raging Bolt EX, which I actually think I already have this card, though. I'm not sure, though. Maybe I don't have this one. So that's four hits out of the CTB, which is definitely pretty good. All right, come on. Come on, baby. Yo, this this ETB feels infinite. Like we're just 
Keep opening more packs. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Whole lot of nada. Oh, well, it looks like we might have a hit in this one, too. Ooh, guys. This is like a five-hit ETB, man. Heavy Baton, Mist Energy, which is super meta. A lot of people want this card in their decks. Sandy Shocks. Fluttermane Reverse. Fins and Finnies and Reverse. And... All right, Wug Trio, listen, dude. Me and Wug Trio don't have a good relationship after the last set, guys. If, any, if anybody in chat opened Paldean Fates, you understand why Wug Trio's... Uh, you know what, chat? I can show you right now. All right, and this is... You see all those Wug Trios right there? I had more of them, whoops, that I ended up uh, getting rid of. But yeah, that's why Wug Trio is the meme of the set. Wug Trio. All right, let's go. So that's two ETBs. Done. Done and done. It's time to bust open our first booster box of the night. So as you guys know, each booster back booster box is 36 packs. Oh, that's fresh. That is fresh. Generally, these are what you see in the stores on display. Like this, and then you kind of just pick your pack, but now we got the whole thing. All right, here we go. So the good thing about sets when they're brand new like this is the booster boxes are quite cheap, um, you know, compared to what they will be in the future. Um, you, these a lot of the Scarlet Violet booster boxes have dropped down to about 90 85 to 90 dollars. You'll start seeing most of them And you get 36 packs of cards, which is pretty nice All right, come on, baby first booster pack Iron treads Bianca's devotion reverse Breloom reverse Okay, so not a great pack not a great start Oh. Medicham Fortress Rosalia Reverse Merrill Reverse Chat. Bianca was cool the first time. She was acceptable the second time. A bit painful the third time. Let's uh, let's let let that. That's the that's the last Bianca we're gonna see. All right. No more Bianca for me. I'm good. I'm good. 
Okay, so that is reverse hollow iron hands. I actually needed that. Reverse hollow sentence crotch and iron thorns. It's fucking brutal chat. So we still haven't pulled a single SIR, which is a special illustration right here. Not a single one yet. We need to see at least one out of this out of this booster box, dude. If not, oh, it's gonna be a rough, rough set. I mean, the pull rates aren't bad. Like you'll get hits. You get hits, okay? All the, like pretty common. You know, we're, we're doing all right hit wise, but the quality of the hits is the problem right now. Okay, so we got Licky Licky. And, oh, oh, come on. Iron Crown EX. So, like, technically, like, this is a hit. I think I already have this card, so it's not that exciting for me. All right, Chad, let's turn this around right now. Let's turn this around. do it I'm feeling I'm feeling good not about this pack I'm saying within the next four packs not next three next three packs we're gonna we're gonna pull a fucking banger dude yeah next next three packs we're gonna pull a banger you guys ready mime right you bronzer metagross roserade Okay, Palafin. Bam. Bam. Nothing. Whatever. So what is considered a hit? Um, pretty much anything ultra rare and up. So these are a step up above like normal rares, which uh, are just one black star. These are considered ultra rares, which are two black stars. Um, so anything pretty much ultra rare and up is considered a, a hit. Hey, Sheldon, brother, dropping the five gifted on the channel. Uh, I, 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 we messed around with sports cards a little bit, George. I actually started opening some hockey stuff um, with the wife a couple weeks ago. We did some of the, we were trying to get some Connor Bernard cards. Um, but as for sports cards, the only thing about sports cards that I'm not super on board with is they're way more gambly than Pokemon. I think we got a uh, ace back in here, chat. I can kind of see the pink. Um, so that, that's a hit. The sports cards are wicked gambly. Like with Pokemon, at least when you pull packs, like you get a decent bit of value, even in like the commons on common sports cards are like either a, they're worth a lot or they're worth nothing. Like there's so many cards you pull in sports that are just dog shit. Um, where the, cause sports cards are 100% based on collection collectors. There's no like game tied to it. So this bronze song, could be a really good card for the game and it gives this card value. You know what I mean? Where sports cards, it's all just dependent on the player and it's all 100% collectible. Um, so Pokemon cards definitely have a lot less um, gamble to them when it comes to getting your money's worth. Yep, we got an ace back. Damn. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? So we got another ace spec. Of course, it's another freaking drums, dude. That's the second one we pulled tonight already. Like, seriously, dude. And I already have one. Like, come on, chat. Where, where's the luck? Where's the luck? You guys are supposed to be blessing me with all the luck right now. I'm not feeling it. I feel like you guys are, are doing the opposite. You're over there pointing and laughing and cursing me with just do. All right, let's turn it around right now. Let's turn it around right now. Let's turn it around right now. Boom. Don't, don't be like this, okay? 
Ah, dude. It's all good. It's all good. Next, within the, the, two more packs. Within the next two packs, we're going to get something. Something banger. Okay, Wim Scott. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Chad. It's going to get better. Look at this quality control, dude. That's fresh out of a pack. Good thing it was the code card and not the actual card in it. All right, here we go. All right, we got a rescue board reverse, which we've already got. Garbage, dude. Garbage. Tim with the super chat. I uh, here's some good luck. <laughs> Let's see some hits. Dude, we've had no luck so far. Like, not a single banger has been pulled. Not a single banger has been pulled yet. Okay, I actually needed this. I needed a Cineroar, Incineroar EX. So that's an EX Ultra Rare I'm happy to pull because I needed that for the Master Set. I needed that. Okay. Now let's just hope our next big hit is a rare that we need, baby. Yeah, it's turning around. It's turning around here, guys. Here is to some good luck. Let's see some hits be. Beer How mugs, much is beer, a master beer, set mugs, go for beer, once it's beer, finished? Beer, it all depends beer, on beer, the mugs, set. Beer mugs, beer mugs, um, beer, beer, Max, beer, beer, mugs, uh, beer, mugs, beer, 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 one is worth probably about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. This set and a master would probably be worth probably around a thousand. I would say would probably be about a thousand. Your average master set for any Pokemon set is roughly eight hundred to a thousand dollars, on average. But the thing is, is I don't like to sell them. It's like once you build them, <laughs> you don't want to sell them, dude. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I needed this too. I needed Frostmoth reverse. Uh, do I get these graded? So it all just depends, Chris. Um, I've sent, I got a bunch of cards out for grading right now. This new set, um, I don't, I don't know. It, it, if I pulled like a dupe of something super, super rare, I might send it out to get graded. Uh, but outside of that, um, I don't really see the point of grading this set right now because there's not a whole lot of value in it. But if I pulled like, you know, two of the super rare like raging bolts, like I got one raging bolt. If I pulled another one, I'd probably get that one graded. All right, here we go, guys. This is this pack right here. This pack right here is it. This pack right here is it. Okay. This pack right here is it. Okay, Torcat. Bam. Okay, that wasn't the hit. Maybe we can still get some right here. Whatever. That pack. I sell my dupes. Yeah, I well, actually I have a binder full of dupes right now that I'm um I I what, how I sell my cards on my eBay page um is I build binders 
and I, I literally just all the like the dupes and extras like EXs and stuff. I put those all in a binder and then I just sell the binders a lot. Um, and, it's, and it's just easier for people who are trying to look for cards, you know, and it's easier for me to, instead of trying to, cause when you're trying to sell singles, it's especially when the card's only worth like one or $2, it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Come on, baby. Show me the, uh Oh, we got some. You guys ready, chat? Yo, that card is actually kind of fired, though. We got a full art. We needed this, baby. We needed it. This is a shiftry. 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 Shift. Try. Yeah. Shift. Try. Shiftry. It's dope looking, guys. I really like the art on that card. It's fire. Even though he's grass, he's still fire. All right, let's keep it going. Yeah, we're almost halfway through this box already. And we haven't pulled jack shit. Okay, we got to get at least one SIR. Oh, I see a gold. I see some. I see gold. That's a secret rare. All right, see chat. The night is turning around, dude. It's getting better. Here we go. Drillbur and I already have this card, chat. I already have it. But I don't need two. I don't need two. I already had. Oh. All right. Three more on this side. All right. Okay, so we got reverse hollow mist energy, which I needed. And then the iron valiant. So ballistic, what I uh sometimes I do do that. If I have a lot of extras from the set, um I'll build like master set starters that's what i call them so what it is is it's not a complete set but it's like if somebody wants to get going in the start and click right now on my ebay page i have a master set starter for 151 um and you know it's got like 50 60 percent of the set uh and it's just it gives uh, people a good starting point okay mud bray dude the last pack on this side of the box. This one's going to be it, right, chat? Uh, are you going to put some luck on this one for me? Oh, okay. Is this one going to be good? Or the next one? You think this one's going to be good? All right. Even if it's not, I, I appreciate the hug is all I needed, baby. The hug is better than. All right, let's see. She said this one. Okay, so we got a reverse holocryton. 
Iron leaves EX. So she actually put an EX in there. Look at that chat. I needed that cryot on too. We needed this. Iron leaves EX. All right. Yeah, Chris, there's a the, the, there's a lot of uh, shininess to the cards compared to the old days. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard, especially when you're getting back into it. It was it was rough for me to know what's even like. You know, you see this card here, and you're like, oh man, the whole card's holographic. Like this is a rarer card. It's a reverse hollow of a normal card, and these are pretty cool and hard to get. Um, and they they serve a good purpose in a master set, but yeah, it's. Um, there's a lot of just hollow cards. You're like, what's super rare? What's worth a ton of money? Um, it, it, it takes a little learning. So what are the piles separated for? So um, I, I do this now so I don't have to worry about it later when I go to like, this is all bulk. So these are just commons, uncommons. All right. Um, I'll have to sort through those, see if there's any that we're missing in the master set. But for the most part, these are all commons, uncommons. Um, they're... Not there's really no value there. Um, then I separate the reverse hollows because there is more value in reverse hollows, and uh, that's where I separate all these. These are all the cards that are just you know hollow here, and then I separate all the rares, which are your just regular normal hollow star rares, which are guaranteed a rare in every pack, um, and that's what these are. And then I separate obviously all the big hits here so it's just it's just so i don't have to dig through hundreds and hundreds of cards later i can literally just take these piles slap them in their respective boxes and uh same thing like i separate the energies and i separate the code cards so it's just less work that i got to do later because when i first started opening these uh, I would just like pile everything up and then it was such a pain in the butt sorting through it all later on down the road. Like, oh, it was so annoying. Uh, so these are just like little practices I've picked up uh, over the past few months of collecting. Kind of makes this process a bit smoother. Grub in reverse, hand shimmer, and uh, a roaring moon. So, so far, chat, I'm not feeling this box. No SIR yet. I was hoping the SIR pull rates would at least be one to two a booster box, dude. Nothing. Sorting cards is not bad. Actually, I don't mind it. Um, it's kind of therapeutic for, therapeutic for me. I kind of just sit there and I'll sort them all out. Um, but it's very, very time consuming. Very time consuming. So, I try to figure out a system that. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Only downside is. Pretty sure I already have this card. Pretty sure I already have that card. Look at all these blank spots that I have, right guys? And you're telling me I'm hitting like all these blanks, right? All these blanks. And I'm hitting the same cards over and over, dude. Like, how is that possible? Some bullshit. That's what it is. If I was like 80, 90% through the binder, I'd be like, okay, you know, I just Nah, dude, we shouldn't be hitting, freaking pulling this many dupes.
Guys, the box is it's getting closer and closer and being emptied. <laughs> getting closer and closer to being empty. Cried on EX. Uh, actually, the crazy thing about this card here, chat, is um, when I did that uh, pre-release event, I just played in a Pokemon tournament. Me and my son actually partook. We played in the tournament, and um, some guy had this in his deck at the pre-release and whooped my ass with it. Oh, my God. it was This card is actually quite scary. 280 damage, chat. It's, it's so ridiculous. And then it like feeds into itself. So you attack with this, you put six damage counters on it. Then this attack up here, Retribution Strike, does 10 more damage for each damage counter on it. So you do this attack, put damage counters on yourself. Then it makes it so this attack right here does more. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a beast. It's a beast of a card. Yeah, I play and collect. Yeah, yeah. We just did a pre-release tournament. And I got frickin's. Uh, I was I went one and two. My son went one and two. The crazy thing is I actually got paired up against my son in the second round. Oh, we got another ace back. Hell yes, guys. All right, let's see. Bam. Yes. And it's one we don't have. And it's what we don't have. That's what I'm talking about, Chad. That's what we need more of. Prime catcher, A spec. There it is. All right. Come on. We still we still need an SIR, dude. Uh, so I lost the first round against a random dude. Then I got paired up against my son and I, I waxed him. Yeah, I beat him. Yep, I beat him, and then I lost um, my third match, which was against a guy who was a coach for a pro team. So I didn't feel too bad. Uh, he, he actually had, he coaches professional Pokemon TCG players, and um, yeah, I lost against him. So I didn't care. I was like, uh, he was the one that kicked my ass with the Coriadon. <laughs> so we got a Moriadon reverse and a Moriadon regular, which we already have. Yeah, he was a whole coach chat, like an actual coach. So that is what it is. So what do I do with my um, cheaper, more common cards? So what I do is I sell on my eBay store bulk. Um, I just sold a 13,000 card bulk lot about a month ago. Um, so what I do is I take all the cards, I put them in containers like this, and um, I count them, I separate them, and then I put them up for sale. So right now I have another bulk lot of these cards that's going to be going up. I was waiting for this actually to sell it because I wanted to make sure that I had all of the cards together and I'm probably going to have about eight or 9,000 cards in that lot and I'll, I'll sell it. I put it up for auction. Um, the last one I sold, I, I got, I, I think I sold it for like 400 something dollars. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. It was, you know, and a lot of them are just commons, uncommons, um, but it's still a lot of cards. You know what I mean? Oops. Potential spam. It's always spam, chat. It's always spam. And uh, here it is again. Guys, Pokemon TCG is actually the real deal. Uh, I didn't know that because obviously I haven't been in the scene since I was young. Um, but no, there's like pros, guys. Like there's people out there that make a lot of money playing these. Like a lot of money playing in these tournaments, um, because a lot of some of the the prizes for the tournaments are huge, like the amount of money they get. But what actually is one of the cool things that the guys in the tournaments get is some of them get really exclusive promotional tournament cards. So it'll be like, um, you know, let's just say a Mariadon, um, but it'll be like this specially stamped tournament one, and there's only like. 50 of them in the world and everybody who partakes in that tournament they get one and so even if they don't win the tournament they they, they can turn around and sell so you see some of those tournament cards going for crazy amounts of money like thousands of dollars because they're just that rare like like nobody has them um 
and the only way to get them is if you partake in the world championships and stuff like that. So those guys make out really, really good. Um, but yeah, there's it's actually way more competitive than I thought. There's a lot of people that do it, and um, yeah, they, they make some pretty big money doing it too. Yeah, so those tournament promo cards are freaking. They're 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 definitely a good. Shit, even if you even if you can get into a tournament just to get your hands on one of those, it'd be nice. Yeah, so I think the thing is, um, it, it is very very simple, Josh. Like Pokemon TCG is quite simple compared to even something like Magic or Yu Gi Oh. Um, it, it is a very simple game in comparison. I do feel you know over the past few years. Um, with you know the EXs and stuff, they have definitely complicated the game a bit more. Not in a bad way either. There's definitely a bit more complexity though into the game, which I which I I like. You know what I mean? Because when I went and I was doing that tournament, I was like, damn, like there is so much more strategy that goes into this than I would have ever thought from Pokemon. You know what I mean? Um, your deck builds and everything like that. That it's it's very 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 meta based. Come on, baby. We got to get some chat. This is this is this is bad. This is quite bad. We we barely have any packs left. Um, we're looking at seven packs. We need a hit, like something big. Like we haven't got one big hit yet out of a whole booster box chat. Freaking touch that insulation, and in, when I got those wings out, now my face is so itchy. All right, chat, come on. It's it's not getting any better, dude. It's not getting any better, guys. Walking Wake, which I already have. Actually, I traded a little kid for his. He kind of beat me over the head. He didn't want to let it go. I did wash my. I did wash it, but. The damage was already done. So I think it's got the fiberglass stuff in it. So it just it's just itchy. Ekans. <laughs> Look at that. Ekans, Arbok reverse. And then we got Iron Valley. Last pack's gonna be the one. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is. You know what? This is it. This pack right here, chat. I, I like I opened it and I just it just like like it vibrated with excellence. Here we go. It's going to be a banger. This is going to be a banger right here. This is it. I got it. I feel it, chat. I feel it. All right, here it is. Bam. So maybe it was my body telling me that pack was going to be shit. So if it wasn't that one, it's got to be the next one, right, guys? If it wasn't in that one, it's got to be in the next one. Here we go. Yeah. It's got to be in this one. That's how I look at it. If it wasn't in that one, it's got to be in the next one. Here it is. Licky, licky. Licky, licky. Buddy, buddy, puffin. Knockout. Uh, 
Like actual fucking nothing, dude. Like actually nothing, dude. All right, chat. We got two packs left. We got two packs left. No, the next. No, this pack. This pack right here is actually gonna have the fire chat. Like, yeah, I said it was out the last two packs, but it's actually gonna be this one. Like. You're telling me you guys don't feel it coming from this pack? Come on, this is a Krokinoff. First card. I've, I, I, this is it. This is the pack, all right? And we got the Licky Licky. You know this is the pack. Metang, I'm, I'm, I already know. I'm not, I ain't even worried about it, chat. Boom. Boom. Hand trimmer. Whatever that is. Reverse Hollow Raichu. That's how you know. That's how you know the next card is a banger. I mean, we got this, which is the hit. But, uh. I think I already have it. Yeah. I already have it. Why is this a thing today, guys? We got one pack. We haven't pulled a single SIR, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. We just opened a whole booster box. No SIR. I can see the price of these cards fucking skyrocketing, dude, just because their pull rates are not that easy. Not that easy. Like Sharky, what's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah, we're opening up some cards, man. I was trying to do this freaking... Here we go, guys. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. This is going to have some. Come on. This has got to be our SIR, dude. There's no way we go to whole booster box without pulling one special illustration rare. Okay. Grotlet or gullet. All right. Oh, <laughs> Good thing I looked. 
So that what the reason why it wasn't last pack magic chat is because it wasn't the last pack. Ooh. I swear to you, I didn't. You guys watched me do it. I did not know that. Like we oh, almost threw that away. Almost threw that away. This is that Willy Wonka moment right here, chat. This is that Willy Wonka moment. And the pack's all bent up on the bottom, of course. This is... This right here is that God pack. Yeah, no, no, we got to open it. This is it. Here it is. This is what we've been waiting for all night, chat. This is what we've been waiting for all night. All right. You guys ready? Come on. Okay. You already guys know. You already know. It's a sick card. One of my favorite Pokemon. But I already have it. Now, it's a hit, guys. It's a hit. But it's already in the master set. Whatever, dude. We're not going to let that get us down, though, you guys. We're not going to let that get us down. This next box is going to make up for the whole night. All right? It's going to make up for the whole night. Let's get pumped back up, chat. Let's get pumped back up. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done, chat. Let's make sure we don't. See, that's how it happened. That's exactly how it happened. Almost did it again. Pop your little fucking head up, dude. There it is. Look at. We're ready. <sighs> All right. First pack out the gate. Just gonna be a banger. All right. Let's start off. Let's start off with a good tempo. Okay. I mean. I needed this card. I mean, pull it. I mean, it pulling an EX first pack. It's all right. Third pack is a hit. All right, we'll see. We're holding Kenny to that chat. We're holding Kenny to that. Kenny said third pack is going to be a hit. I feel it too, Kenny. I feel it too. Start it in the opposite direction. See. Okay, that that had Jack fucking doodly squat in it. I'll mix the packs up. I'll, how about that? How about that? We'll mix the packs up a little bit, just to you know, because you guys, as you guys know, Pokemon cards change in the pack. Like people know. 
that it's it's an actual thing. Like it's not a set amount. Like the cards aren't set. Like right now they're changing inside the packs. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We mix them up. We mix them up. Is this the is this the third pack? Is this the one Kenny said is going to be a going to be fire? All right, Kenny, I'm gonna hold you to that. Here we go. Oh damn, Kenny. Oh, damn, Kenny. Okay. So we pulled a full art of the Wug Trio, which I don't mind because I needed this card. That's new. Oh, damn, Kenny. And I think it's uh, the, it's like Terastalize or something like that. I, I forgot the, the, this, the name of what this Pokemon is. Yo, Kenny, Kenny got the juice. Kenny got the juice. All right. Then we got the uh, two reverses there. There it is. All right, so this pack obviously is going to be a bust. I can just feel it. Just You don't get two bangers in a row. Not like, unless you're Crystal. She pulls two bangers in a row, but this one's going to be Cheeks. Yeah, not a. Cheeks. All right, here we go. Every, every third pack, chat. If it's not this one, it's the next one. If it's not this one, it is definitely in the next one. It's going to be a big, big card. Come on, baby. Don't do this to me. Oh, yeah. This is it. Here we go. Okay, it's not this pack. This pack is fucking dog shit. The fourth pack after this one. Hope so, Kenny. I hope so. Nothing. So Kenny says the fourth one. That was one. Right on the X.
Okay. Here we go. That's what Kenny said was going to be the fire. Wasn't it, Kenny? Wasn't it? The next pack. Here it is. It's right here. This is it. This is it. This box is a whole freaking dud, chat. Literally, the whole box is just garbage. Like, how can you pull so much nothing, dude? Like, it's actually... I don't even worry about it. We'll get something within the next three. We'll get some within the next three. Like, we haven't even got an A spec, dude. Like, I shouldn't have been crying about the dud A spec. At least we are getting something, dude. This box is actually, you know, we're not going to let it get us down, chat. We're, we're, we got it. Here we go. Bam. Actually, really nice art. Damn, that is actually so nice looking, dude. So it's not an SIR. This is just a regular IR illustration rare. But we needed this one. That's a really nice looking card. I really, and the, the evolution also has an art kind of like this. Uh, that shit is good. It is gorgeous. It is really, really nice. So there it is. At least the box gave us something. I really want, I just wanted the Ghastly, dude. Like, can I not get the Ghastly? Ooh, there's another uh, pull art trainer we needed. Explorer's Guidance. Okay. That's two cards in a row that we actually needed. So it's not bad, guys. I'm okay with getting this type of stuff when when I need it. You know what I mean? It, it, it's nice, dude. It's nice when, when you actually need it for the set and you pull it. Feels good. All right, so 
Things are going up. It's, it's getting better, Chad. You know, the, 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 the theme in the room is... It's changing. The atmosphere is changing. Let's just keep this, let's keep this momentum. Maybe we shifted, remember when we did the shuffle of the packs? Maybe we just shuffled all the shitty packs to the top, you know, and then from here on it's gonna be, be bangers. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Another Gengar, dude. There it is. I mean, I already got a bunch of these, but you know, these Gengars actually sell for a lot of money. I think it's because they're so meta. All right. It's better than not pulling shit, you know what I mean? No. It's been dog shit after dog shit. I hear you say, whoa. No. Yeah, maybe whoa. Uh, oh, we got an ace pack. We got a, We got an ace pack, guys. I told you. We shuffled all the shit in the front somehow. You know, to kind of like... It, it, we did this straight Marine Corps boot camp style. We broke our we broke ourselves down. You know what I mean. And now we're building ourselves back up. We're gonna be stronger. Here it is. A spec. Oh, and I think it's one that I. Wait, do I have this one? Hold on. Before I get excited, do I have this one? Do I reboot out? I feel like I don't have this one. Let me check. You didn't have that one. No, I had Master Ball, Drums, Hero Kit. Nah, chat, we didn't have this one. Oh, there's another A spec. Oh, yes. Told you, chat. I told you. There's nothing but up from here. We already opened one and we're halfway through this one. Making no progress towards the master set. Yeah, it's been absolute dog shit. All right, here we go. But we're on our way up right now. Things are getting better. Okay, we'll take. We could take that. We just got like four packs in a row that were hits. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. Nothing. Can I hand you? Huh? Can I hand you? Can I hand him? If you hand me the packs, I'm going to get hits. Yeah. So. You're person. Well, all right, my son's taking over the pack handing. He said that if he hands me the packs, they're going to be hits. So if we pull bullshit, it's on him. No. Oh, chat. Another A spec. Another A spec. Please be one that we don't have. Chad, this is, this is, I told you, we're, we're, this good. Please, please. Damn. So I already have Master Ball. But it's better than pulling nothing. I don't know how much Master Ball is going for right now. Boom. All right. No, he didn't hand me that pack. That was the last pack from that I pulled. This pack right here is officially the first pack that he's given us. So this one's got the fire. No, it's not possibly, bro. You said you said you were giving me the fire. All right, here we go, chat. I don't know. This one doesn't look like a hit. Licky licky. That shit that doesn't have fucking nothing in no, it, dude. No, that pack was ass. You were opening the pack wrong. Maybe you no, it's just because then you're gonna breathe on it and I'm not gonna pull the box. Alright, well alright, no. Here we go. Elect the buzz.
Actually, I needed this Iron Boulder EX. I think I needed this. Bro, it's just an EX, and we didn't even pull no fire yet. If you want to get the fire, you have to do this. You have to raise it and then tip it. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> you want the fire or not? Give me the fucking pack, bro. I'm not doing none of that stupid shit. It's either the pack's going to have the fire or it's not. He's like, you need to take the pack. You got to raise it up and kiss it. Like, I'm not doing none of that shit, dude. Like this. No, you're supposed to just be handing me the fire. So you fucking raise it up and kiss it, bro. And then fucking give it to me. And then it should have the fire in it. Bro, give me the packs back, cause you're you're handing me the bullshit. I was this box was going good until you took over. This better have the. Why is there spit on it? Really? Really? Bro, this, the blessing off. No, this pack better have the fire, bro. You're fired. Yeah, if this don't have the fire, you're fired. All right. Bro, uh, we already got this card, dude. Did something. What do you mean you still did something? Wait, can I have it then? I'm blaming your sister. Peggy. Well, you can keep the saliva to yourself. All right, here we go. This one's it? No, what do you mean possibly, bro? The, the tempo of the... Blessings have a... Okay, well, we were... Everything was good. Okay, there's some defects. Bro, chat, what's going on? We were... Everything... No, no, there's no but listen. You listen. Everything was going good. And then you came over here fucking licking cut packs and shit, and now we're getting nothing, dude. Oh, but you have to do it. Not I'm me. not doing that shit. I didn't. I didn't have to lick the pack before, and I was still getting better cards than this. You said the reason up. I'm not doing none of that. Why? Because I didn't. I don't have. Then what is your point? We're just holding the packs and then. Yeah, you. You're supposed to do the ritual. That's ritual, but like, you're supposed to do the ceremony. I think I already have this too. I forgot you something. If you do it, then you'll pull fire. Trust me. If you do it, you'll pull fire. Bro, if I do this stupid ritual <laughs> and I don't pull shit, you're fired. I'm fired? Fired, bro. I'm fired. Like, you can go play fucking Roblox. I don't play Roblox. I play Minecraft. Or go do that. It better have... If I do this stupid-ass ritual and that shit doesn't work, bro, you're fired. If you record me doing that shit, I will... I will fucking beat your ass, dude. No, give me the packs, bro. Give me the fucking pack. I'm not doing that. So you over there with your phone sitting there trying to record me on the DL so you can show us what you look what I got my dad to do. Bro, I don't care. I'd rather not pull nothing than you fucking sitting here go around school showing all your little friends me sitting here kissing packs and shit. It ain't happening, dude. Alright, here we go. Bro, you're actually fired, dude. Like, what is this bullshit? Okay, then. Bro, I'm telling you right now, if this shit doesn't work, you're fired. You 
supposed to do it too? No, you now you just add and shit, bro. <laughs> This shit better work, bro. Or you could just hand me all the packs, bro. It better fucking work for your sake, bro. <laughs> Alright. But there was nothing in that fucking pack, bro. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. You're fired, bro. You're fired. Look, you're opening it wrong. Open it. Why would it open? Bro, this booster box is actual fucking garbage. What do you mean I didn't mean it? With all your spiritual. Really? <gasps> I didn't fucking mean it. I didn't kiss it with all my spiritual energy. You have to make it so crazy. That's how it works. Then I don't want it to work. If, if I gotta do all this extra shit, I don't no, want. No, no. You just have to mean it when you get this. I didn't mean it. No, you did. You have to raise it, raise it, raise it, praise it. Really, <laughs> bro, you're fired, dude. Trust me. No. Just trust no. me. No. <laughs> I I gotta want it, Chad. I didn't, I didn't mean it. Bro, I literally. Ooh. Oh, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, really? Chat? Oh, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Sleeping. Damn, we got the full art gouging fire chat. That's, I actually needed that. What do you mean? What do I say? That's the first good card you give me the whole night. No. We didn't start pulling cards until I stopped doing all the stuff you wanted me to do. So I believe Raging Fire, guys, um, in this new set is Entei, but like the ancient version of Entei. Um, and then Walking Wake here is the ancient version of Suicune. So like all the legendary beasts, um, these are their ancient versions. I haven't played the new games, so I actually have no clue like what any of that actually means. Right, here we go. Ooh, look at the art on that. Got the little snowman down here. That, that card is fucking awesome. That is a really nice card. Yeah, I really like that one. Yeah, you can even see the sky reflecting off the windshield of the, the dozer there. Little cabin in the background. See, Pokemon cards didn't look like this back when I was a kid. Do you know what I mean?
All right, here we go. How many we got left? <laughs> Patrick said when I was a kid we had to draw our own Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah, garbage. I actually think I needed this. We got so many reverses to go through. All right, here we go, chat. We got three packs left. Damn. So that's cool. But I already pulled this. The very first very first stream we did for the set. Oh, I uh I pulled that card. Yeah, this was the Puff the Magic Dragon card. Now we have two. No. You already opened the ETB. Last pack. Now, once we do this pack chat, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to kind of see where we stand. Um, I know for the illustration rares, I'm still missing a ton of them, like a ton. All I wanted was the ghastly. All I wanted was the ghastly. Nothing. All right, so I'm going to take a sec. How many cards are in the set? Um, let me get the book. I think there is 250-something, I want to say it was. No, not even. There is 218. Yeah, 218 cards in the set. You see all these freaking special illustration rares, guys? Like... We didn't, we opened two booster boxes, two booster boxes, and we did not pull a single special illustration rare. And there is, let me see, how many are in this set? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten special illustration rares, and we didn't pull any. 
that this is one of the ones I really want. I think this is the most expensive card in the set. It was either that or this. The Iron Crown looks so fire, too. Look at that shit. That looks so good. Uh, Walking Wake. This is the one I have. And this is the one I have already. But, yeah, so far, out of 10 special illustration rares, we've pulled zero. Like, how is that even a thing, dude? How is that even a thing right now, chat? Okay. So we're going to do real quick. So we're going to see where we sit with the master set. Okay, so as you guys can see, when it comes to building master sets, I do the original version of the card and then the reverse holographic version of the card. Um, we're going to go through and just pull grass reverses real quick. It's the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. Do it by color. You guys will see how painful this is now that I already, like when it comes to pulling dupes, that's why I try to tell people when you're doing a master set, um, once you get to a certain point, like you're actually just kind of wasting money, especially when you're only chasing like 10 cards or so, um, it's definitely not worth like continuing to buy product. Put the bad cards as a tax right off. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I can already tell you guys we really haven't pulled the cards we needed in reverses, at least from what I can see. A lot of dupes in the reverse department. So I've been paying attention. I haven't seen a Pine Co. Which is one of the ones we needed. Okay, so that's all the grass reverse hollows. Okay, so on this first page right here, we're looking for C Dot and Pine Co. I don't recall seeing either of them. Maybe C dot, but I don't think we. Yep, there. So we got C dot. You fill that hole. So satisfying. And then Pine Co. was a no. Okay, so now we go to the next page. Okay, so this page we were missing uh, Roserade and Turtwig, which I think we have both of actually. Oh, we got Rosalia. Damn it. Did we get Rose? Okay, nice. So we got Rosa right here. Fill that hole. And then I know we got... No, I don't think... Did we get Turtwig? Yes. Okay. Look at that, guys. So there's nothing more satisfying than a full page. Like, full double page. So out of all the grass so far, we got pretty much everything. Except the reverse hollow pine co here. We got both these pages done. And then, ooh, what the hell went here? So, this is what you do when you're, um, okay, it was the evolve form here, the Gramble Gas reverse, which I don't think we got. I know we got a Bramble reverse. But Gramble Gas, Reverse, so we got Brambin, but again, no, so we're missing, we're missing that one. It is what it is. Alright, so then we go to the Fire Types. 
Let me just do the same exact thing. All these cards over here are a mess. Hold on, give me one second. I gotta organize this real quick. Do you think it's cheaper to spend money on the master set? Oh, 100%, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's actually... Uh, because you got to think, you can buy an average master set for about eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Now, to pull, if if you want to buy cards and pull every single card, you're going to probably spend on average, I would say, anywhere from five to six thousand dollars, if you're lucky. Um, so I would uh, honestly, yeah, if you just go out and just buy the master set, like if your goal is to just have all of the cards and said set, it is probably cheaper to just go buy the master set. Now, obviously, people just enjoy opening the packs like, you know, that's part of the fun. So I always tell people to, you know, open a couple boxes and then go for the, you know, and then just buy the rest of the card singles, because if not, you're going to spend a ton of money. But yeah, that's... <clears throat> Uh, that's what I do. I actually just sell the master sets because I know a lot of people are would rather do that than uh you know spend a fortune trying to open the packs. And it's like, dude, you could have bought five sets with the amount of money you spent trying to get that one set. You know what I mean? It's but the thing is, is opening the cards is part of the fun. So I definitely get it. But yeah, definitely gotta know when to hit hit that stop button and and just say screw it. You know. The, the, especially because a lot of people do it with the expensive cards because you know like say there's a charizard in the set and the charizard is a hundred dollars people are like dude i don't want to go out and spend a hundred dollars on one card but then they'll sit there and they'll go spend four or five hundred dollars on booster boxes trying to pull a hundred dollar card you know what i mean that's a little ass backwards you know you could have just bought the card and then you could have bought the card, four of the card you know what i mean so yeah there's definitely a uh a line that you got to learn to draw and it is hard you know what i mean but the thing is is once i build said master set if i do want to open up more of that set then i know that every card i get is now profit you know what i mean i could just turn around and sell the card and it's no longer for the set so if you know if i do open a pack and pull the charizard now i can actually turn around and sell that charizard and reinvest it into the set you know what i mean or into another set you know what i mean so yeah you got to you just got to know when to pump the brakes. It's rough, though. You know what I mean? Okay, so I already see right here we need Rapidash Reverse. We need Slugma Reverse. And we need Heat More Reverse, which I didn't see. But I know I have Slugma and I know I have Rapidash. So that's two cards right there. There's Rapidash. And there's Slugma. Okay, so Heat More. I'm pretty positive I don't have. I haven't seen that one. Nope. Okay. Um, so there was something here. I don't know what it. I think it might be the Incineroar EX, actually. Uh, Incineroar EX. Yep, here. So I think that's what Tor Cat evolves into. And the way to find out, you go look at the number. This is 34. Torcat is 33. So now EXs only have one version. There's no reverse hollow, so you don't have to leave two spots for those. All right. So now we have the Sizzlepeed and the. Uh, yeah, we have this dude and Sizzlepeed, which I don't think we have either of those in reverse. Nope. So that's that. That is that. So now we're moving into the water. And on this first page, we know we need the Carvanaugh, which I think we actually got. I know I pulled a lot of him regular, but... What's good booster boxes to buy? So reg game um, or reg game, it all kind of depends on what you're going for. Um, just buying random booster boxes to buy random booster boxes. Uh, that's that's one of the hard things about Pokemon. Um, and it takes a little 
learning is uh I think my camera's slipping out here. It takes a little learning it, uh, is knowing what sets are worth going after. Now, I always tell people, like, go after sets that you enjoy. Like, for me, my, the first set I went after was 151 because I grew up in the era with the original 151 Pokemon. I knew all the Pokemon. I liked all the Pokemon. So it was a really fun set and easy set for me to get back into. Um, but going out and buying booster boxes, like, if you're, it depends on what your goal is. If you're trying to open booster boxes and trying to see, okay, you know, what booster boxes can I potentially open and get the most value for? It? Like, get the most money back or chance of pulling really, really expensive cards. That's one thing. Or, you know, what booster box should I open if I want to build a really nice set? Or what booster box should I open? You know what I mean? So it all kind of depends on what your goal is. Um, that would determine what booster boxes you went after. So that's my question to you, Red. Uh, Red, what would your goal be for said box? Like, what would your, your collecting goal be? Because that will differ greatly on what boxes you go to buy. If you Like, right there, boom. We already got the Caravanaugh. Uh, because a lot of people, they don't even know that Pokemon has sets. So they go out and they just see packs of cards and they just buy the Pokemon card packs. I was the same way when me and the wife would go out and buy the kids Pokemon cards. We would just buy Pokemon cards. We didn't we didn't know anything about it. We didn't know. And then, you know, we, we didn't know. Oh, they're, oh they're, maybe they'll pull a Charizard. But little do you know that set doesn't even have a Charizard in it. You know what I mean? Um, and that's how it is. It's not, it's not like every set has every Pokemon some sets are like this set that we're opening right now. There's not a chart. There's not a single Charizard in the set. So if you wanted a really rare Charizard and you went and bought twenty thousand boxes of uh, Temporal Forces, you're not going to ever pull a Charizard because one doesn't exist in the set. You know what I mean? So you got to know. You got to that having goals and collecting this stuff has definitely changed a lot for me. I save a lot of money. Um, you don't waste as much money because you actually have goals. You know what you're aiming for, and you can kind of look and say, hey, you know, I want this card or I want this set. Uh, you can be like, you know, it's actually going to be cheaper if I just go out and buy these 10 cards, and these 10 cards are only going to cost me four bucks because some cards are like 20 cents, five cents. You're like, I can literally go buy these 10 cards for four bucks, or I can go out and spend $100 on a box and maybe get three out of the 10 cards, four out of the 10 cards. You know what I mean? So... For the first generation Pokemon, so if you want to go Gen One Pokemon, um, one Scarlet and Violet One Fifty One is the most modern set uh, that you can get the first generation Pokemon in. Um, there is Gen One Pokemon sprinkled throughout the new sets, but if you want to, uh, Scarlet and Violet One Fifty One is one hundred percent tailored towards the. Um, I'll actually show the set off once we're done for tonight. Um, I'll I'll show you guys the. Uh, my 151 sets and it's a really nice set i really really like 151 uh it is getting a little harder to get your hands on right now because so many people really really enjoy the original 151 pokemon and that set has brought so many people back into the hobby that it is quite hard to find actually and then when it shows up in stores it's gone like super super quick so yeah, you got to make sure if you do see 151 product in a store just gra grab it dude because that shit it's so hard to get all right, so we're missing a Wiglet reverse, which I don't think we have. So there it is. So we're missing one reverse hollow for the water Pokemon. Um, everything else is done. Now for electric, we already got the Pikachus. We got Raichu. This whole page is done already, as you guys can see. Okay, go next page. We have Iron Hands reverse we need, which I know we have. And then, so we'll pull out all the electric types. We only need one electric, which is Iron Hands. So we already have, did I? Yep. So we got every single electric type already in reverse other than Iron Hands. So the rest of these can just go in the pile and boom, there he is. Iron Hands reverse hollow. There it is. I'll pull out the other electrics just so we don't it's less cards to sort through you know what i mean makes it easier later on that's a dragon type
Yeah, and this is all just, like I said, I do this just to make it easier on myself. You know what I mean? The, you take all the cards you know that you've already got out of the stack, and it just makes sorting and looking for stuff. You know, instead of having to look through 300 cards, most of them I've already gone through. I take all the cards I've already gone through out, and that just gives me less cards to look through every single time. Imagine owning every possible, every card possible. So, Chris, you know what's crazy is... um. I thought about that goal for a little while. I was like, man, I wonder if I could just get one of every Pokemon card that ever came out. Just build every master set to ever exist and just have a library of Pokemon cards, which is just every Pokemon card that ever exists. And then with the modern stuff, that's pretty easy to do. You could pull that off without spending a fortune. But when it comes to the um, the new older stuff, good luck, dude. Some of those cards, they're just too much money, dude. <laughs> they're so expensive. Um, so, yeah, that, that dream, absolutely out the window. Okay, so now we need psychic types. Oh, look at that. Boom. First card was a reverse we needed, which was Meryl. So we'll just slide that in there. We also need the giraffe. And... Bronzong on this page. There's the giraffe. I don't know. Something's just so satisfying about like filling the pages, guys. It feels so rewarded. Like, just so good. When you get all the cards, just you're know, like, damn, I just filled it. I just finished the page. Yeah, are we not really going to have a bronze on? One card short of filling the damn page, dude. Yep, no bronze on. But this is why I told you guys, when you open the packs, like, when you're building master sets, it gives you other goals other than just chasing the top chase cards. So, um, so we actually needed bronze or and bronze on, which I don't think we have either of those. Uh, but it gives you other goals, other cards to aim for. That way, when you're like, damn, dude, I needed this reverse hollow, and you pull it out of a pack, it feels really, really good. But yeah, we so we need bronze or and bronze on no go on those. We also needed this guy here on the next page. Um Sol Solosis, which I think we have. No, yep, right there. Boom. I was like, dude, I swear I saw one. So his spot is right here. Did my luck change? Yeah, not really, Tim. Not really, dude. All right, let's see what else we need. So we needed the B. I know we have him. Yep, right there. And then we go to the next page. All right, so we need Fluttermane Reverse Hollow, which I definitely have here. Okay, then we're missing the two other Iron Valance. One of them is a rare. This one. Card number 80, this is card number 79. So this is the regular version. And I think there's a reverse hollow of that card. I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. Because it's a regular numbered card, I'm pretty sure there is a reverse, but we don't have one yet. What's worse than ants in your pants? Uh, pants in your ants? That's disgusting. Uncles, really? Really? 
That ain't it. <laughs> what do you mean it's not your joke? Why would you tell it? You can't, you can't tell it and then say that's not my joke. All right, so we got Iron Valiant, and then I think what was here, guys? All right, so this is where you got to bust out your handy dandy notebook and figure out what the hell card 81 is. I think it actually is that EX that we pulled, that psychic EX. Yep, right here. Um, so Iron Crown EX, we definitely pulled that. Let's see. Iron Crown EX. I think we pulled only one of these two. So many Coriodons. There it is. So Iron Crown EX. Okay, so now we're going to go into fighting types. So what would you guys think? So far, if you look at the progress in the binder, would you say one more booster box? Well, let, let's let's see what the end of the binder looks like. Let's get to the end of the binder and then we'll make that determination. Because it's either one more booster box or we just switch over to singles. So far, the progress through the main pages here, I feel like we're doing really, really well. Um, but the, you got to remember, we can open another bo booster box and just pull all bullshit and dupes. Which will hurt my fucking feelings so bad, dude. <laughs> but now that you guys have seen the binder, it probably makes a lot more sense. It'll, it'll, when we're starting to go through the cards and you start seeing the packs, now that you've seen the master set, you'll you'll kind of get a feeling for why I'm so upset with some of these cards. Because some people are like, dude, that, that card looks awesome. That looks like a hit. And it's like, yeah, dude, I got seven of them already. You know what I mean? Or I don't need that card. I need this card. You know what I mean? And it just it's a totally different vibe. When you guys get a feel for the set and you know what you're looking for, you know what you have. Um, yeah, it, it stings. It stings a little bit. There we go. So those are all the fighting. Okay, so we need a Metatite Reverse, which I actually don't think we've seen. And yeah, we're looking for him. Reverse Hollow. Oh, there it is. Boom. All right. Next page. Perfect, guys. Look at this. Almost almost done. I actually think we're going to be able to finish this whole fighting section. We need Medicham, which we have right here. Boom. Medicham reverse hollow. So that full page is done. And then Rock Rough. Which I'm pretty sure we... Yep, boom. Uh, we got Rock Rough Reverse Hollow. Boom. There it is, guys. Look, it's such a good feeling. That's full binder page right there. Okay, so then we're missing only one more fighting type, which is Great Tusk uh, Reverse Hollow. Let's see if we got that. Great Tusk... Reverse hollow. Sandy. Oh, damn. So this is the other one. So there's two versions of Great Tusk. We already got this one. We need the other one. Yes. There it is. There it is. Yo, we actually pulled a good bit of cards we needed, guys. There it is. So full page done. We already got the Ekans, the Arbok. Um... Yeah, this Gengar is fire. I actually pulled two more today. We actually pulled two more of those Gengars. All right. So now we got to pull out the dark types. And on this page, I could see we need Ghastly and Sableye down in the bottom here. So we got Ekans, Hunter, Roaring, Sableye right here. Boom. We pull that Ghastly. That's uh, another page done. Come on, baby. We got we we pulled a ghastly, right, chat? Reverse. We gotta have a ghastly reverse. Please don't do me like this. 
Fuck another haunter. Another haunter. Come on, dude. We're running out of cards, chat. Please. Come on. Uchina. Oh. So no ghastly reverse. No ghastly reverse. Um pulled 20,000 haunters. 30 million Gengars, not a fucking single Ghastly. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, so we already got my Ina. We already got all of those. We already got Roaring Moon. Uh, so all my Darks are finished. Uh, so now we're looking for Steel types. So just like that, all the Dark cards are dupes. Yeah. Sucks. Sucks to suck. All right, so Steel types, we're, there's not very many of these. We need Fortress. Um... Yeah, we need Fortress, and we need uh, Maywile and Metang and Metagross. So let's pull all the steals. Metagross, boom. Needed him. He goes up here. You gotta be careful with the steels because they they the steels and the normal types are there. We needed that. Melmetal. Metal gross. Make sure I didn't miss any. No, we're good. All right. I didn't see a fortress either, though. So we're I, so we got this one, Maywile. Uh, I think we're gonna be missing these two, Metang and Fortress Reverse. So we got Metagross, Melmetal, another Maywile. Yeah. So we're missing those. Okay, so these are all the dragon types. Mariadon. Okay, so I don't know what goes after this Mariadon EX. Let me go check the book. So that card number is 122. So we go into the book right here. We got Mariah on EX 122. So we need Raging Bolt EX, which I, I'm pretty positive we pulled that. Hmm. Where the hell did this go? Iron Boulder. I got to check. Hopefully I didn't skip a spot. I've done that plenty of times, guys. You'll skip a spot in the binder, and then I gotta you gotta pull all the cards out the binder just to fix it. It's so fucking annoying. There it is, Raging Bolt. Um, I didn't see a spot though for this, so that's why I'm confused. I probably actually skipped it. Let's see. So go back to fighting. Whoops. Yeah, I don't have... A, oh, no, I already have it. Okay. Whew. I already have it. I was like, dude, please don't tell me I fucking skipped a spot in the binder, dude. That would hurt so bad. Nope, we're good. I already had the card, which I don't know is where... I, I guess that's better than having to pull everything back out. Okay, so last type is normal. Uh, we need Dunsparce, which is right here. What am I going to play Ark again? Um, not exactly sure. I know the new map's coming out, but we got a lot of new games coming. Um, and uh, yeah, I might I might check it out at some point, especially the new map. Uh, but yeah, I have I didn't have a time frame on it like when I was actually planning on checking it. Let me pull all of these out. Oh, I just dropped a bunch of trainers down there. Uh, 
Okay, we're good. Got all those separated. Okay, so we're missing a Ung Pheasant and a Drampa, which I'm actually staring at Drampa Reverse right here. So we'll put that down in the bottom here. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff that we needed. Nah, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't see that. I would have recognized that card, maybe. I don't recall. Oh, no, we did. Boom, look at that. Whole freaking page again. Um. Yep, this page is all done over here. We're missing Hoot Hoot over here, which I think we have. Yep, Hoot Hoot. There it is, guys. So that's another full entire page. Okay. There's another one. We just completed this page here. And now we're looking at trainer cards. So all of these are all dupes. We don't need them. All right, now let's get into the trainers. We're almost done, guys. And then we'll take a look at the binder. We'll assess. Okay, so the next card we're looking for is Ancient Energy Booster Capsule, uh, which is here. Uh, we need Box Order, Buddy Buddy Poffin, uh, Cyber Maniacs Code Breaking. So let's see. Boxed Order. Boom. We already got Bianca, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Boom. Uh, we got the Ancient Booster here, Reverse. And then Cyber Code Breaking Maniac or whatever. Which I don't think we have. No. So, we're still missing this card. Go to the next page. We have Explorer's Guidance at the top here, which we have here. All right, Full Metal Lab, Hand Trimmer. Yep, Hand Trimmer Reverse. Okay. So now I know one of these is a... Yeah, so these are the A-Specs. I think this card here is an A-Spec. Uh, let me see which one it is. So we're looking for card number 154. Uh, 154 is maximum belt, so that's one we don't have. We got these two today, though, which is 157 and 158, which go here and here. So we'll go pull those out, our A specs. There's 158 and 157. Okay, so I think 157 and 158 go here. These two, actually. Yep. And then we're looking for Perilous Jungle Reverse. Yes. Perfect. Chat, we did really, really well, actually. On reverses and stuff, like... We actually did really, really well. And then down here, we're missing Salvatore, which is right here. So on this page, we're missing one aspect, which is Maximum Belt. Okay. And that is all of the trainers. Done. Let's see. Yep, every single trainer done, except we're missing one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're missing one A spec. I think actually there's one more A spec right here. Um, let me check the book just to make sure. Yeah. So there is one more A-spec called Neo Upper Energy uh, that goes right here. 
Now we're starting on the illustration rares, which are the top chase cards of the sets. I know, so the next one in order is the shiftery. We actually pulled that. Where the hell did I put those cards? There they are. Yo, Naruto is super amazing. Naruto is my favorite anime of all time. Absolutely love it. Come well, on, where are you at, Shift? There it is. Okay, so there's... 163, 164. So make sure those are in the same proper spot. So there goes one card, and then we're looking for... One six five, which is the deerling, which we know we pulled. There he is. So that goes here. All right. So we don't have one. Uh, we don't have the next form. Got the cat. I don't have that. We got chair bug. We don't have that. Let me see. I already I'm gonna pull out all the ones I know that we need to put. Make this a little easier on myself. These are all extras. Told you. Look at all these dupes, guys. All dupes. This whole stack of hits, all dupes. But we got these cards to add. So we got 176. Um, so we got that whole empty page here, which is, I just start counting at this point. 169. So 171, 2, 3, 4, 5, 76. Um, this one is 190. So many empty spots. This is what I don't understand, dude. We had so many empty spots. 192. But yeah, we pulled so many duplicates. This is 200, which goes up over here. This one was 188, which goes here, and then 178. And this was the last one. 76, 77, 78. Okay, so this is what the end of the binder looks like, or the illustration rares. As you guys can see, we're still we're missing so much of this. Like so many spots are blank. And then we go to the next page. Again, so many blank spots. This is why I was so upset that we were pulling dupes. I'm like, dude, with all these blanks, this is SIR, Special Illustration, all these blanks, look at this, all blank. And you're telling me I'm pulling all these freaking... Uh, all these dupes. So this is the normal binder, though. So we're going to look at these. So for the main set, I'd say we're looking really good. Like we're missing like onesie twosies here and there. Main set looks really, really good. Yeah, literally like one to two cards on a page. Full page, two cards. Full page, one card. These are both that that's done. This one's done. Couple here. Done. Solid. Done. One card.
Hold on. And then obviously I just showed you guys the back of the binder here. We're missing uh, quite a few cards. So what do you guys think? We are missing a lot of the back of the binder cards, so the rares. So at this point, we're going to be rare chasing. Um, when it comes to the main bulk of the set, though, we have almost everything. Um, what do you guys think? One more box? One more box? Might put us where we need to be. Or they could put us in miserable town of pissed offness. Because I do have one more that I could open. I do have one more that I could open. What do you guys think? Because there's so many of the special illustration rares, I only have two out of ten. And I'm hoping that we could pull at least one from this next box. Well, saving them, saving them ain't gonna make the card. You know what I mean? All right, hold on. Give me one sec. I'm gonna get prepped up. We'll do one more box. We'll do one more box. Screw it. To grab beverages. We're not gonna get more disappointed. This is this is the redemption arc, chat. We're, this is our redemption arc. We did. We made we made good progress, guys. I'm not gonna lie. On the base set itself, you know, going through the going through the box and stuff felt really really bad. But then once we actually got everything put together, I felt a little better about it. You know what I mean? Now. The downside is this box right here could potentially hurt quite bad. Uh, do I already have the best SIR? I have one of the top SIR slime. Um, I I have the Raging Bolt. I'll actually show you guys this card up close because I haven't showed it. So this is one of the top cards in the set, and I got it already. I actually got this out of one of the um, the build and battle decks uh, deck boxes at that tournament that I took place in. Um, I pulled this. So this is one of the top cards in the set. It is gorgeous too. You know the art on it is it's gorgeous. All right. Yeah, so I'm hoping that this box
<laughs> All right, guys. One last box. But now that we know that we're uh, we're good on all of the base set, we don't need any of the commons uncommons at all. So they're all automatic dupes. Yeah, so every common uncommon we get is all dupes. Um, reverse hollows, we only need a handful of those, but we need a lot of these. What are you doing? Hold on one sec, guys. All right, let's do it, guys. So we're going to be able to speed through this quite quick because we know a lot of the cards we're pulling are going to be um, cards we don't need. No, nah, we don't even need a shuffle airborne. We're going into this one straight up, dude. Straight up. So all this is going to be uh, pretty much garbage. We'll keep the reverses. We got this. All right, first pack was doo-doo, but it's all good. So all this is garbage. Get to the reverses. We don't need any of that. I feel like I have a good idea of what cards I need. So if I see one that is a reverse that we need. No. Yeah. So, so far this has been dog shit. Yo, the Ghastly would be fire, dude. I'd be so happy if we pulled the Ghastly. Get to the reverses. Ooh, nice. So this four, airy shit. Wait, do I have this card already? I think I have this card. Maybe. What is it, 199? I feel like I had that one. Do I have this one, chat? Yeah, I have it. Oh, damn it. All right, keep it moving. It is what it is. Yeah, and that's that's one of the issues, Josh, when it comes to doing uh, master sets, is you you start to get to the point where you're uh, you start pulling just so many of the same cards, dupe wise. Okay. Uh, we don't need any of that. I know I need the special illustration version of Aerie. First. Riot on, we already got.
So we pulled an EX, but it's one we already have. So far, this box is about just as bad as the other ones. But I'm not going to let it get me down yet. We're going to have something big here in a few. Come on, baby. Come on. Ooh, I think we needed him. Yeah, we needed this card. I'm pretty positive as a reverse. Check. It's going to add them as we go. Yep. So we, we needed him. Let's throw him in the binder right now while we're at it. We also need Sizzlepeed. Right, so that's one down. Oh, okay. Melt in full art. I know we need that. So there's a new illustration rare. Card number 179. Wait, I hope I don't have that. Nope. Awesome. Beautiful. So there's another one down. Nothing. Ed, how you doing tonight? Have I ever watched... Um, Knights of Zodiac. I had a 100% full book of cards. I've never seen that, Val. Also had 90 to 95% completed Pokemon and Digimon book. Damn. Yeah. Um, as soon as we're done with this, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't seen my Pride and Joys, I'll show you guys my other stuff before we end the stream um, that I collected. Oh, yes. So this is that other Iron Valent that we needed. The rare one. We already had Gouging Fire. So we just got another reverse that we needed right now. So right here is the Iron Valiant. Rare reverse that goes right there. Whoops. Yeah, so that whole page of psychics are completely done. Let's go. We are making progress. It's it's not a complete slap in the face. Yeah, I've never heard of Knights of Zodiac. So 
Sizzlepeed, we needed this. And heat more. Double. Look at that, chat. Double. Yo, what is going on? I feel like we got a little bit of luck going on right now, chat. That is two um, reverses in one pack that we needed. Seriously. Yeah, literally two. So we got heat more. Put him in the binder. And Sizzlepeed also going in the binder. Now that is complete. It's easier for me to show you like this. That's all done. Now we haven't been pulling anything crazy, crazy rare. You know what I mean? But filling holes in the binder always feels good. So I'm hoping that we could, you know, also pull something rare. That would be that'd be awesome. Okay. Uh, Oh, the ghastly. We needed we needed reverse ghastly too, right? There's no way this is happening right now, chat. I think we needed reverse ghastly. Yo, is what is happening? Yeah. We need a reverse ghastly. Oh, there's oh, there's a there's a EX in this one too. That I already have though. Yeah, we already have that EX though. Yeah, that's another page down, dude. Another page. Okay. And we're only halfway through the boost box. All right, let's keep this. I'm vibing with this box set. Like I said, this is it's a bit easier to go through when you know what you're looking for, and it feels a bit better. Um, oh, yo, I think I need him too. Yeah. Chet, I swear, no. Bronze on, because I think I needed both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Legit, guys, look. We need Bronzor and Bronze on. The fuck? Yeah, so now we're just missing Bronzor. All right. Like I said, we're not pulling fire, chat. It's not like we're pulling super big cards. We're just filling holes, like, one after another. It's actually kind of crazy. Three, four, five, six, seven... So no, we don't need him. Oh. Oh, there's an SIR, baby. Special illustration rare, rare Bianca. We were talking about my girl Bianca earlier. That is a monster. SIR, baby. Let's get that. Yes. There it is. Yeah, this card is 
pretty mint too. Corners are good. Centering is good. It's a little heavy on the this side, the centering on the front of the card. And it looks like it's a little body bottom heavy compared to the top. At least the PSA 9. But nice card. We needed it for the binder. I always like to check when you pull rare cards like that to see what the condition of the card is because, you know, if I ever do want to get it, um, if I ever want to get it graded, you know what I mean? If it ever is super worth something, two, two, two eight. Right. 209. Bianca is in the binder, guys. All right, so, so far, this is easily the best box of the night because we just pulled a, our, a special illustration rare, so. But I got to say, the pull rates, the pull rates on the SIRs is, uh, I'd say it's pretty rough in this set. I wouldn't be surprised if the SIRs in this set are kind of expensive. I don't know if maybe I just got bad luck. Um, have you any of you guys watched anybody else uh, open this set because yeah I, I I feel like the the SIRs are a little rare pull rates are definitely a little on the harder side fortress did I need fortress there's no way dude I feel like I, I felt like I feel like I needed this I feel like I needed this too. Let's go, chat. We needed it. Yeah, right here. Let's go. And another one. And we're missing pine code too for grass types. All right. Um, Brenton says the set has been rough for everyone we've seen. Yeah, it seems like the SIRs are definitely uh, a bit tough. This looks like a butt every time I see it. Yo. I I know I keep saying this yet, but I literally think we needed this one too. <laughs> it's like this box was built for my binder, bro. It's like the box was built for my binder. There it is. We we really needed this one. This is crazy. That's another completely full page. Another one down. So what do I do with my dupes? Uh, Vail, I sell them. I, I have my eBay page. I have it linked in my description. Um, I already got that one. I uh, sell a lot of my cards on there. Um, such a nice EX. Yeah, I sell, I, I, I sell all of my stuff on my eBay store. All right, let's keep it going, guys.
Okay, so we already got that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, chat. Walking Wake Full Art Card number 189 187 188 189 oh. It's filling out nicely chat and another one All right. Oh, I see an ace back. Ah, oh, hero's cape. I already got this one. Damn it. I mean, it is what it is. Still freaking another ace back. I'll be able to sell it, but... Ooh! Wait, I think we needed Metang. I think we needed Metang. But yeah, this will be, go in my binder to sell. And I think we needed Metang. Yes, that is another full page. Hell, yep. Yeah. See? And all we needed was Metang. That is another page down. There it is. Yep, another full page, dude. Yeah, we did something right, chat. We did something right. Okay, so Deerling, Mime, no. Got the Sawsbug, Wimscott. I mean, this box is already. Put a smile on my face, but yeah, I feel like we've already, this box is already, you know. Ooh. Yo, we needed bronze ore. That's another full page, I'm pretty sure, chat. Bronze ore goes right here. That's another full page. And we got a full art. I already have that one, though. Another full page. And we got a grotto full art, which I already have. But this is such a nice card. Such a nice card. So each box, Bob, I was able to get them for about $95. Um, they're... Most stores are selling them for like 120. I was able to get mine for about 95 each. Um, yeah, your average booster box though is about 120. I think the Pokemon Center is selling them for like 160. All right, but extra full art will be able to throw in my my sale binder. I'm not a lie, chat. My sale binder after today is going to be 
thick. <laughs> like, with some fire. Like, all this crap, it, it's... It doesn't mean much to me, but in a sail binder, like, come on, Chad. This is, this is some good stuff. All these A specs, like, yeah. I'll show you guys my sail binder too. What I what I have built up in it already. All right. Think we got a hit in this one too, maybe. Oops. Yeah, so it's an extra raging. We already have one though. Bugs, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, Mark, I appreciate it, brother. I really do. All right, here we go, guys. This box is just the gift keeps on actually giving. Let's slow down a little bit, but we're getting to the point where we need kind of all the rare cards. So it's going to be hard to really keep pulling consistently. I didn't need evolution, right? Let me see. Psychics. Nope, we got all the psychics. top tier gambling addiction well Val, i don't the, the good thing is is i don't gamble too much when it comes to pokemon cards a lot of the stuff that i invest a like a decent bit of money into is all sealed products that um in master sets but I, I i generally build mine pretty smart i don't like to gamble with my money like on a uh, on a guess like oh you like like i bought these boxes to open um but like other people they can't keep sealed products like nah dude if it's sealed um I have a panko. I pulled panko. Did I? Where? I feel like I would have seen that. Oh, we did pull panko. Yo, we missed it. Dude, there's the first page done. Chat, how the hell did I miss panko? Maybe I got distracted with the SIR or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's done. Done, done. Like, you can't really see because it's green screen, but that's done, done. We're missing Ramble Gas. Done, done. Let's see if I could, yeah. Done. 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 Like, you know what I mean? Chat literally, like, done. Done. Yeah, we literally have almost every. Every page, chat. Every page. We're missing one trainer. Let me see. Let me count them. Let me count them right now. Let me see. So we're missing one. Two. Three. I'm missing three cards, chat, from the main set. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the, the all the rare cards at the end. Just throughout the whole main regular set, we're missing three cards. That's it. We're three 
away from being done with the main set. And then we're just then all we need is all the rare cards at the back. It's um and they're all reverses. Three cards. We're missing Bramble Ghast, which is like the it's like a let me just double check. Bramble Ghast, um what the hell? Why'd I put this stack in here? Yeah, we're missing Bremble Gas. Uh, I'll tell you the names of them right now so you guys can keep an eye out too. Just so. Yeah, so we're missing Bramble Gas in reverse holographic. Um, one of them is an A spec trainer. I think it's the the belt, the maximum belt. Um, we're missing the Cypher Maniacs code breaking in reverse hollow. And then we're missing one of these pink cards called Maximum Belt. Those are the three cards from the normal set we're missing. So Bremble Gas Reverse, Code Breaking Reverse. And maximum belt a spec. So those are the only three cards we're missing. Let me see. I didn't see Bremble Gas, right? Okay, we're good. We are good. So we already got for alligator, Medicham, then. Okay, so we already got that. Hoot hoot. Drop a. Getting down to the wire here, guys. We're getting down to the wire. Can't feel bad, though. Like I said, this box filled so many holes. Um, we're down to only three cards left in the main set. Like, this box definitely put in some work. Yamper, throttle, ride on. I'm just hoping for, yeah, one more pull, dude. One more pull out of this box. That would be, that'd be a godsend. That'd be so nice. One more big pull that we need. The one more hole, dude. Come on. The one more hole. Four packs. Come on, chat. The one hole. No, Scovillian EX, I already have, obviously. Gotta say, the EXs are a bit easier to get in this set than freaking 151. Two packs, yeah. Come on. One more hit. Oh, there it is. 
There it is, baby. Code breaking in reverse hollow. There's one of the holes filled. I mean, that's what I asked for. I asked for one more hole filled, and we, we really pulled it. We really, really pulled it, chat. Oh, and all we need now is Bramble Gas. Freaking reverse. All right, we'll put this in. Bam. Another page done. That's another full page. One pack. One pack. Now we're just chasing hits, like real hits for the most part. Once if we get that bramble gas, that'd be so fire. I highly doubt it though. It's not not really possible, but shaman. Oh, so it's not an sir. It's not a special illustration rare, but it's an illustration rare that we needed. Last pack magic, baby. Illustration rare, and that card is fire. I love the art. I love the art on so many of the cards in this set. That's good. What is card number 181? Yeah. Yeah, the back, the back of the binder started to fill out pretty good. So the question is, chat. Let me get this here. I want you guys to see where we where we look. All right, hold on. let me see. Got to get these all organized. I don't know about buying the rest yet, Drizzy, only because a lot of the cards we're missing are S special illustration rares. So uh, they might be a little out of my price range at the moment. These are all reverses that we don't need. Let's put these in here. Okay, and these are all the rares. Go in this pile. Okay, so it's, I want to show you guys the back of the binder. So this is what the rare card part of the binder looks like. Now, there's still a lot of holes, still a lot of holes, but as you guys can see, it's it's filling in a little bit. It's filling in a little bit better. We pulled these two. And then this page. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not perfect. But, you know, all those. Back still looking a little, a little scarce. Back still looking, looking a, looking a little, little scarce. <laughs> uh, but the the rest of the binder is pretty much done. We're missing the one grass type here, and then an ace back trainer all the way in the back. But everything else is completely done. Every page complete. Thick chat. These pages are heavy. Yeah, we're missing the one maximum belt there. There was a guy that had one too at the freaking tournament. I asked him if he would trade it to me. He was like, nah, need it for my deck. So the question is, guys, I got one more box that I was just going to keep sealed. Now, the thing is, the set is so new. We don't really have to keep a seal. It's not like that box is ever going to be worth anything in the next five years. <laughs> so we got one more box, but I don't. I, I think I wanted to end tonight on a high note and not 
go dipping into another box of sadness. Like I like my face like my right now I'm like I can go to sleep with a smile on my face. Like I can go to sleep with a smile on my face, dude. <laughs> Jizzy said, yo, it might bring us down, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab those other binders right now while you guys kinda um, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll showcase a couple things real quick while we, uh, let me see if I can actually get my binder or my camera to focus from further away. Okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to go get my, um, my binders real quick and then, uh, love the box of sadness <laughs> and then, uh, I'll be right back. Give me two seconds, guys. I don't think it's going to get better than we just that's what i'm thinking josh but we're missing so many of like the ultra rares like we're missing the whole back of the freaking set for the most part okay so this bad boy right here this is what got me back into collecting in the first place. Um, uh, oh no. Was the original 151 Pokemon set was remade, a uh, 151 and um, this is actually the very first set I did. Um, I built and I love it, guys. Now, a lot of you guys who know the originals, you'll recognize pretty much every Pokemon in the set, but they did it in Pokedex order. Uh, I got the original card reverse hollows, just like the other sets. Um, but as you can see here, you know, you got your Venusaur, Charizard. Um, Charizard EX is pretty nice. Let me see if we can get the whole... I'm going to turn myself off real quick so you guys can see the full binder. Um, but there we go. So you guys can pretty much see the whole thing. <clears throat> uh, we got, you know, the Blastoise. Yeah, these are all the original cards, but they're all the original Pokemon, but these are all the brand new cards for 151 um as you guys can see it was, it was a gorgeous set it really is yeah and my favorite pokemon nido king alakazam machamp
yeah, this is this is where it all began. You know what I mean, guys? This was the the start of it all. Come on, focus. There it is. It's a big set too. You know what I mean? When you when you get the full set, like it's a lot of cards. <laughs> it's definitely a lot of cards. You know, you got the original Evolutions, you know, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. I still like Umbreon the most, obviously. Umbreon is cool as hell, but Jolteon was my favorite before Umbreon. And then the, you know, Legendary Birds. You got Mewtwo, Mew, Dragonite, and then all the trainers and also in reverse hollow. Okay, so now this is where we start to get into the um the illustration rares of like you know like, so this is Bulbasaur. These cards are so nice. Um got Ivysaur. See the little reflection in the in the water of his face. And I got the uh come on. What the hell? And we got the Charmander. Now, when you flip this page over to the the next part, it looks quite nice. And then we start getting into all of the full arts. Now, my favorite cards, Chet, like I'll show you Charmeleon too, because I know a lot of people like the starters. Got Charmeleon there. But then you go, the, the Squirtle line, I think, is the best art I've seen, pretty much. I thought it was you slamming the door. Oh. Um, the Squirtle line, chat, in my opinion, is... It's some of the best art I've ever seen in Pokemon cards, period. Like, look at this fucking Squirtle, dude. Look at that card. Come. Like. <laughs> that shit is fire. It's, it's so good. So that's the Squirtle, the War Turtle, so gorgeous, like the way it looks underwater, oh it's so nice looking. Look at that. It's so nice. Yeah, these cards are just, they're so gorgeous. Even, even the Caterpie, guys, like, even the Caterpie, like, look at that. Caterpie's nice. This Poliwhirl is so nice. I love I love all these cards. I literally like they're just all so good. 
in my opinion. Let's see if I can get the damn card out the damn sleeve. Look at this polywhirl. It's like standing in the rain. You can see his like reflection and stuff. Like, come on, guys. That's so fire. Yeah. So Polyworld's nice. Um, and then, obviously, we got all the full arts here. You know, Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise. Uh, Dragonair is really nice too. Actually, this is a pretty nice card, also. And then, uh, you flip this page, and this is where you get to the most expensive cards in the set. Um, you got the Venusaur, which, like, the card sleeve hides the texture because that's the one thing about these newer cards is that, uh, the rarer cards, the SIRs, they actually have a texture to them. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. It almost looks like fingerprints, but that's that's like a textured surface. It's gorgeous when you see it in real life. really adds a pop to the cards. Yeah, there's the, the Venusaur. Yeah, there's no Dragonite special illustration rare, which is weird. Definitely feel like they should have done a Dragonite. This is the big Mac Daddy of the set. This is the most expensive card that Charizard. Yeah, there's no Dragonite, man. Well, there's there's the normal Dragonite, like, in the set. Um, here. Like, there's Dragonite here, uh, but there's no special Dragonite card. But this is the Charizard. And again, it's got, like, that texture to it. Nice sky with the volcano in the background. Really, really nice card. And then there's uh, the Blastoise, which I think is so gorgeous. So this, obviously, he's wicked deep in the ocean compared to the other two. Oh. Look at that. That shit is so nice. Yeah, so you got Blastoise. And then one of my other favorite cards is the Zapdos. And the reason why is because the Zapdos actually has all three birds on it. It has Moltres and Articuno in the background. Yeah, so that's the Zapdos EX. You can see you got Moltres and Articuno. Flying above the clouds, such a nice card. But yeah, they did a really, really good job with this set. Um, and this was the first set I wanted to finish complete. I do the whole entire thing for. And uh, I did. So I went through. I got every single card. And the reverses. But then when I did that, it motivated me to want to do this. Um, because obviously I did 151. I was super, super happy. I was excited to have all that done. And then um, this kind of motivated me to want to do this from my childhood. So I went ahead and I did 151. But the original base set. Now these are all 100% real base set original cards they're not the shadowless ones they're just a regular base set but just still
pretty nice in my opinion um the cards are in very good condition too like i'll show you guys the charizard so this is the original base set charizard as you guys can see mine's in pretty pretty decent shape for a card from 1995 Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so we got the starters here. And then it gets just better from there, guys. Then it just goes into the whole 151. All hollows, all the cards that can be hollow are hollow for the most part. I think I'm missing like one card that's can be hollow and i think it's victory bell unless i got the hollow victory bell i don't remember but yeah i see here it's just the original 151 all the og cards all in good condition oh so i do got the hollow victory bell okay i wasn't sure if i had it hollow or not yeah and this binder is just pure childhood memories <laughs> yeah I, I was actually going to sell this uh initially when i first put it together my goal was to build it and sell it and then i built it and i was like no nah, i can't sell this dude i love it i love it too much yeah and then i even got this from the movie i know you i know there's a bunch of you guys in chat that remember this card from the movie I went all out chat like i said when it came to building this childhood set look at that and mine's in pretty good condition yeah mine is uh pretty mint as you guys can see this is the real deal ancient mew Yeah. But I wanted to uh I just wanted to have like all of the promo, you know, cards from when I was a kid, you know, the the original movie cards. I got the original Mew Dragonite. Yeah, the Pikachu Electabuzz Dragonite promos. I even remember the cool Porygon uh promo that came out. Yeah, so I went ahead and did all that. Um, and I've already had people try to buy this off me. There was one guy offered me two grand for it, and I was like, nah, dude. <laughs> nah, it's not for sale. He's like, I'll give you 2000 right now. I was like, nah, dude, sorry. Um, but then I went above and beyond. I was trying to get all the trainers, too, from the original set. I'm missing three trainers here. Um... And I'm missing one trainer for the fossil set here. But yeah, I got all the trainers, all the energies. And then I took it one step further, chat. I was like, yo, let me start building the Team Rocket set. So I got a bunch of the Team Rocket cards. I'm still trying to get the Dark Charizard, but obviously that one's expensive and hard to get. Uh, but I did get Blastoise. I'm missing a lot of these cards. I kind of have been having a hard time finding them. Uh, but yeah, so I started doing the team rockets, more rockets, and then I got the, you know, Dratini, Dark Dragonite, Dark Dragonite, got the rainbow energy, <laughs> and then these right here are all your, th these are just the, all the, First edition shadowless. I don't have the full set first edition shadowless, but I got these are all the cards that I have that are first edition shadowless. They're obviously really hard to get cards, but I've been sniping them at card shops every time they come across some of the good ones. <clears throat>
yeah so this is what i've built up though and one more trainer there for shadowless first edition so yeah this binder is like childhood dreams And this is uh, another set that I was working on. Uh, that I did the uh, master set for. This is Paldean Fate. So this one came out before Temporal Forces. This was the last set that just came out. And the same thing with this set. It was... Uh, it wasn't too hard to get the base set done. It was the baby shinies that were a real pain in the ass on this set. These shinies, all the shiny variants. I'm still missing. I have two cards that are actually in the mail on their way here. And then uh, this set will be completely done. But yeah, as you can see, I got pretty much all of them. I'm missing one here. So they're not duplicates, Bray. I'll show you, because a lot of people ask that question. They're like, why do you have two of each card? They're not duplicates. Um, they're two completely different cards. So this is the original. You can see this one is reverse holographic. So there's the original card, and then there's a hollow version of every card. So to collect a quote-unquote master set, you have to have both versions. But yeah, there's all the baby shinies. And then I'm missing Jigglypuff. But the rest of the set is completely done. I got a uh, Bubble Mew. This is such a dope card. This card is so nice. Yeah, so this is one of the super, super rare cards. That's the Bubble Mew. Obviously, the big bad in the set was Charizard. Shiny. This card is pretty sick looking, too. This was the main chase card in the set. It's a really, really nice card. And then it's got all the rest of the secret rares. And then I have all the promos. So... Yeah, it's Peldane Fates Master Set. So this is another little This is another little pet pot project of mine that's very, very hard to finish because it's very, very expensive. Those of you guys that already know what this is. <laughs> This is uh, Evolving Skies, and I was trying to do the master set for Evolving Skies, but there's so many hits in this set. Like, Evolving Skies is no joke, guys. We're talking, like, there's so many EXs and Vs and Vmaxes and Vs. Like, but it's a very, very pretty set. Very nice. Uh, but as you guys see, I'm missing quite a few cards from this. The problem with Evolving Skies right now is um it's so expensive like if you want to buy like any of the cards like the packs or the boxes they're a fortune um they're absolutely crazy expensive so i can't even buy more evolving skies to open 
But yeah, this is my set so far. I mean, I got I got decent progress on it, I feel. Like, I feel like I got a good chunk of this set, you know what I mean? Now, once you get to the back of the binder, that's where shit gets a little shaky. <laughs> Um, but I feel like I'm doing okay, you know what I mean? Like, I got the Glaceon, um, which is like a $50, $60 card. I got the Umbreon V, which is a $100 card. Um, I got the... Missing this whole fucking page. <laughs> but here's one of my bigs. Yeah. Got the Rayquaza. If it wants to focus. Which it doesn't want to. Whatever. There we go. Yeah, we got the Rayquaza, which is like a $300 card. Yeah, $300 chat. Absolutely insane. Fucking three hundred dollar Rayquaza. The the thing is, is the Umbreon in this set is worth like six to seven hundred dollars. <laughs> um, and yeah, that card is crazy hard to get. But that's where I stand on Evolving Skies right now. Um, it's kind of just a set I'm gonna build over time. And I'll show you my sale binder. So this is my binder I'm going to be putting up on eBay. I'm going to be putting, you know, most of these cards in here, minus like the dupes. I, I don't like to put too many dupes in my sale binder unless they're like really, really expensive cards. But like a lot of these are going to end up in here. But this is the binder I'm selling currently on. Uh, I'll be selling on eBay. It's just a bunch of rares, all the hits. Got some tag teams in there. Um, you know, Charizards, Muse. Got it's a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? It's a little bit from every set. I'm missing some spots where I was taking cards out, but I gotta put fill them, fill the holes. Got, you know, some of the shinies, some of the baby shinies, extras that I had. Some promos. Got some base set stuff in here. So, and I got, you know, I got a lot more cards I got to put in there. And I guess I could show you guys this too. Now these cards aren't really for sale or anything. These are just the rarest cards I own that aren't a part of a set that I own. So this is just where I put my really, really rare stuff. You know, like those of you guys who know like Sleepy Tyranitar. That's a huge card. Um I got like the Iono. This card is so gorgeous. Like, I, I can't. I actually got to take it out for you guys to see the full scale of the gorgeousness of this card. There's so much color and detail. Like, look at that shit. It's It's crazy. Uh, I got the Charizard, I got the Machamp, Celebi, I even got the Van Gogh, the Van Gogh Pikachu. I got the Van Gogh, uh, extra Alakazam from 151. Uh, back here, I got some old, I got the triple set that I showed you guys, got the Gengar from Evolutions. So, yeah, I'm starting to put some rare cards in here. Ugh. 
And uh, this I just started yesterday. So this is Crown Zenith. Um, so I, I just started trying to build up the master set. I just put this together. That's why it's so bare. Um, I barely had any product for this, but yeah. The, the reason why is because I noticed I had a ton of the end of the set. Um, all the rare, rare cards. I had a ton of them. So I went out and started trying to buy some of the product to fill in the, the base set. But it just takes time. You know, building these sets out just takes a little bit of time. But yeah, this is the start of the back. And as you can see, like, I have a good chunk of all the rare cards. You know, I got the Leafy on, the Entei, Suicune, you know, I got the Mewtwo. I actually have two of these. I sent one out to get graded, and I just pulled this last night out of an ETB. Um, so and this Mewtwo is really dope. It has uh, Charizard on it too. Yeah, it's like Mewtwo fighting Charizard. And there's actually another card you can get where you're seeing this same fight, but from Charizard's perspective. Uh, so it's kind of like a set, really. And then I got all four of the gods. You know, Arceus, freaking Giratina. Diaga and Pelica. So, yeah, I just started this one. So, yeah, that is my collection so far, guys. I have a bunch of sealed stuff. You know, I, I got, uh, the ETBs and, you know, booster boxes. I got some booster boxes sealed. Um, and uh, actually, I just got my hands on one of these. I'll show you guys. Now, it might not, it might not seem like that much, but uh, this Meowth box is from like 2017 or 20. I don't know what year it came out. But it's got an evolutions pack in it. I don't know if you guys see in the back there. There's an evolutions pack in there, which is pretty expensive. It's got Cosmic Eclipse. It's got Unified Minds. And I think there's also a, I think there's two Cosmic Eclipse packs in here. Yeah, it's got Cosmic. It's got Unified Minds. It's got Evolutions. It's got some really, really good packs in this. I wouldn't say we pulled any bangers, Crane. Um, thank you for the two months, too, brother. I appreciate you, man. Um, we we finished most of the set, though. Yeah, we got, we got like, what would you guys say? We're probably, what, 70%, 75%? We're missing a lot of the SIRs, obviously. I don't know how the Cosmic Pack got ripped. Um, yeah, I noticed that, too, Slime. If you look really, really closely right there, you see how it's folded down? Um, I thought it was, I was like, damn, I hope this isn't a reseal. But when I checked it out, uh, it's it definitely seems good. So I don't know if it was just a manufacturer thing, because yeah, if you check it out, it's 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 definitely good. Um, all the packs are in the right places. Code cards are in the back. It's all pretty legit. So I don't know, dude. I don't know. But yeah, it's just split a little bit and pulled down. So I don't know if that happened when they were packing it, maybe. The Rick Common Pack makes it more valuable. Error box. That's what I'm thinking. Because that's the, it's, it's legit. That's definitely legit. Was also able to find a couple of these. It's got some celebrations stuff in it. It's got the little Pikachu's and stuff. I have no clue what the hell this is, but 
if it was old, older, you know what I mean? Then they're not super, super easy to find. Am I going to open that on stream? Hell no. No, I'm not opening that. Muhammad? No, 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 dude. That's part of the sealed collection. That that's part of the that's part of the sealed collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those bad boys will not be opened. Crane, what do you mean, dude? Let chat, let Crane know. We opened three booster boxes. I even opened an extra one. I only plan on doing two. And uh, I opened three booster boxes. I do have one. I do have a fourth, but I was keeping that one sealed. Yeah, I opened three booster boxes, dude. Hold on, I'll show you. You bought a whole case, dude? Ooh. Yeah, I, I was able to get most of this. No, I couldn't. Dude, yeah, I couldn't get any one piece, dude. That shit was so gone, dude. <laughs> it was so gone. I told him, I was like, yo, hold me a box. He was like, I can't. So, yeah, I got slayed. All right, chat. So, what I got here is... uh. Just some cool stuff that I won't be opening, but I figured some of you guys might appreciate it. So I got one of these. Celebrations Ultra Premium Collections. These have the gold medal Charizard, the gold medal Pikachu, um, and a couple other cards in them. But yeah, I got this bad boy sealed. Yeah, you can see it's got the gold medal Charizard, gold medal Pikachu. It comes with those two gold cards there. And a bunch of, uh, ooh, this even has Evolving Skies in it. Yeah, really, really cool thing here. Crane, do you ever open one of these? Yeah. These are quite expensive, currently. <laughs> They're quite expensive. <clears throat> so, yeah. Got that bad boy sealed. Um. Oh, you weren't in when they those came out. I got one of these. Now the 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 thing about these is these were at a hundred dollars for like ever, and they've never moved. They were not getting more expensive, but now that Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike and all the Sword and Shield sets are getting more expensive, this box is slowly starting to grow in price. Um, I got mine at about a hundred dollars, and now I think they're almost at one twenty already. I'm pretty sure by the end of the year, these will probably be like $150, $160. So if you guys do want to get one of these Charizard boxes, I'd probably buy them now because in the past month, they've already gone up almost 20 bucks. So uh, they, they have Evolving Skies in them, Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars. It's got pretty much a little bit of all the... Uh, yeah, right here. So it's got 
uh, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, Darkness. It's got like 16 packs in it. Really cool promos. Um, yeah. Yeah, and now th these things are going to they're they're going to skyrocket in price, I'm pretty sure. There's going to be a really expensive one day. But this is I was actually able to get one of these crane sealed. Can you believe chat these things are now up to almost 7 hundred dollars for this this sealed bad boy right here almost seven hundred dollars these are i got mine way cheaper i, I was able to get a I won a bid on ebay but yeah no nah, no nah, i i was able to get it online dude for cheap cheap but yeah that and then i also have this one that I made myself. Crane actually gave me this box. Look at this. So, sealed booster, sealed booster, um, booster equivalent. 36 packs, 36 packs, Evolving Skies. Now this is a, a booster equivalent. So this, this could have multiple hits because this is from like, 30 different sources you know it's a pack from here a pack from there two packs from here pack from there they're literally i could probably have three moon brions right here chat because it's from so many different sources where this booster box you know it's predetermined to only have so many hits this booster equivalent could have an all it could have a ridiculous amount of hits i got some of them from etbs yeah it's Or there's zero hits. Exactly, Crane. That is why I will not open it, dude. <laughs> now, I actually might... Th listen, listen. If you guys want it open so bad, right? I will be selling it on eBay at some point. <laughs> so you can buy it and open it yourself. And then tell me what you got. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be selling this on eBay. And you guys can buy it. And, and and try your luck. I'm not fucking opening it, dude. And then uh, I actually was able to get Fusion Strike before it got popular. I got these off the Pokemon Center uh, a few months ago, and now they're sold out. They're super hard to get. I bought these at one thirty, and they're all about two hundred dollars now. So yeah, these are already about seventy dollars more than what I paid. Um, when I bought them, and these are on the rise too. I think they're already up over 200 bucks a box. I got two of them sealed. So yeah, I got, I got a decent sealed collection. Dude, Brandon, I'd be so mad. Cause you got to think one moon Brian's like $600. So if you pull two out of that, dude, there could literally be, there could literally be like two or three moon Brian's just sitting right here. 12, 1300 bucks. Just chilling. There could even be a Rayquaza. Rayquaza, Moon, two Moonbrians. Just chilling right there. But guess what? I'll never know. Because I'm not opening it, dude. <laughs> I'm not opening it. Hell no. Campbell, because the thing is, right? I could sell this right now on eBay for like $400. Legit. I can go on eBay right now and sell this for like 400 bucks. Now, I could open it and make maybe $30. So would you rather take $30 or a guaranteed $400? I'm going for the guaranteed $400 every day. Every day. I'm not because when you get when you do open it and you only get the 30, you know, that shit is gonna hurt your soul. I, I will literally so much regret. 
I, I always go for the sure thing. That's what I was trying to say earlier. When people gamble with Pokemon cards, I am not a gambler. I am not a gambler. I look at what's sh the sure thing, and I go for that because I know I'm gonna get, at least get my money back. You know, so if I buy this for five hundred bucks, all right, that's a lot of fucking money. But I know, okay, I can at least worst case scenario if this doesn't go up in price, I can at least get my money back. The second you open this, yeah, you could. You could make money. Pull a Moonbrian and a Rayquaza, make a thousand bucks. Or you could just keep it sealed and guarantee yourself that you'll make a hundred, two hundred bucks. That's how I look at it. I like the sure thing. I go for the, the sure thing. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy sealed collecting, honestly. Um, it looks really, especially ETBs, they display really, really nice. Um, you know, and, and sometimes you could, you could buy some booster boxes. I, cause like I said, I don't, I don't have like a super big position, I guess what people call it. Um, in Pokemon like sealed stuff. So for me, it's like, like I got like $500 invested in this box. You know what I mean? So if this box right now, it's worth 700 bucks. So I could sell it right now and make $200, but you know, by the end of the year, it could be worth a thousand bucks. You know what I mean? So if I have a rainy day in the future or I need a little bit extra cash, I could just go sell this. You know what I mean? I could make $500. So it's like a little bit of an investment. You know what I mean? Like I could sell both of these you know, and probably make like 1400 bucks, you know what I mean? Just off these two boxes. I, if a rainy day ever came up, you know what I mean? If I throw, like I could literally just take a lot of the stuff I have and sell it. Or if there's something really big that comes out and say, I'm like, yo, I really want to invest into that product. Um, but it's just expensive or something like that. I could turn around. I could take all of these, sell them, take that money and then go ahead and uh, reinvest it into something else. Oh, Brandon. Nah, dude. Pokemon cards don't generally go down in price after they go up. For the most part, like when stuff spikes, it usually spikes and then flattens and then stays at whatever it spikes to. So if these booster boxes are $700, they're never going to go like below $700. So they'll just, they just go up. They'll just stay at whatever level. So yeah, they know, Pokemon product generally, because the more people open it, the more rare it becomes. The more rare it becomes, the more expensive it becomes. Yeah, that's the one good thing about Pokemon cards is they don't generally go down in price. They usually just go sealed, sealed products. Um, single cards will go up and down. They fluctuate depending on how many cards are in the market. But sealed product, there's only a finite amount of it. So it always goes up. Uh, Scary Boo, I actually have two Japanese 151 boxes also. <laughs> it said so open it and make the other one more valuable. <laughs> Nah, dude, I'm going to wait for somebody else to open up theirs to make mine more valuable. Do I have action figures? No, I don't have any. Just uh, just cards. Yeah, Pokemon crashes were all, yeah, we'll, be, we'll all be kind of in trouble. Like I said, I, I, I got a lot of money um, that I've made just off the master sets like all my master sets like once they're finished very 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 lucrative um but when it it's like it's not even about the money when it comes to the sets like i i don't know they, they mean so much to you like after you put them together chat i don't even know how to explain it it's like like i, I don't know i could literally just sit there and just flip through the pages you know i just sit there and flip through and looking at all the full pages and it's just it's so satisfying you know what i mean it's it's very very nice it's so satisfying but i do have um 
for any of you guys who are interested, um, if, if, if you guys do message me just in the eBay thing, message and let me know it's you from the channel. Um, cause I have one of these on the, on eBay right now and, uh, it's, I would, I would be willing to take less, uh, you know, if it's one of you guys, I'll sell it to you way cheaper too. If any of you guys are interested, I have the one, five, one master set starter. So this is that set I showed you guys earlier. Um, obviously some of the cards are missing some of the reverses and stuff like that, but for the most part, a lot of the meat is here you know we got the charizard blastoise um it's got a lot of the ugh. um it's got a lot of the meat it's just every here and there there's uh you know you're missing some of the reverses and some of the exs but uh got the alakazam Right now in the, the listing, I actually didn't have this, but I went ahead and pulled it. I just haven't updated the pictures. So as you guys can see, I got a lot of the, the set here. But this would be a good starting point for anybody. Like if any of you guys started on this, this would save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, in product because like i said a lot of it's here i even got some of the the rare cards in the back here um we got caterpie polywhirl mime zapdos erica and mew and uh yeah it's all the promos all the promo cards so there's a good chunk of the set here I'd say it's probably like 65 percent or so um i have it listed right now for like 130 but if it's one of you guys you know just shoot me an offer of what you can afford and uh we, we could try i could try to work something out for you guys um it's definitely just the cards in the back here these the illustration rares um are probably worth like i don't know 30 40 bucks and uh when i valued it like all the cards in here are probably worth about 250 300 um but the binder itself is worth like 20, 15, 20 bucks. Um, but like I said, I, I wasn't trying to make a whole lot of money on it. It was something fun I built and I figured somebody would probably enjoy it as a starter. Get them, get them started going towards the set. Hey, Tim, you get that good sleep. All right, brother. Yeah, I'm going to be hopping off myself here in a sec. So yeah it's i don't know i really i do i i enjoy building the master sets like i saw i had one of these completely built it was 100 percent done uh, i built two so i have mine that you guys seen earlier um i built another one that was completely done and i just sold that one to somebody in the uk uh or canada canada they bought it for about a thousand i sold that one for a thousand and then uh this one was my like leftover one that I, I even have one more that's a little bit smaller than this one that I was going to sell for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something like that. Um, so I have this one that's pretty full. And then I have another one that's like probably more around like the 30 or 40%, 45% complete, maybe a little more than that. Um, that one I was going to sell for like 50 bucks or something like that with the binder. Like I said, these binders are almost $20 themselves. So it was kind of like a little, bonus i was selling the binders and then kind of like throwing the cards in there for a couple more bucks
Oh, Brenton, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it was, it was, I haven't never seen, you know, I've never seen too many people do the, the OG 151 Pokedex order card binder. So I figured, you know, I thought it would be pretty cool. You know what I mean? And everybody I've showed it, it, it really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I bring it, like when I go to like card stuff, I bring it and I show people and they're, like I said, I've had a couple of people already try to buy it from me and I was like, nah, dude, it's not for sale. I'm not, I wouldn't be, I'd be lying if I didn't say the guy that offered me two grand, I thought about it. I'm like, hmm, but that it's worth about 18 to $2,000 anyways. So I was like, nah, I'm good. Um, so Kigi asked, uh, do I have just Pokemon or do I have magic? So I do have, um, one piece. I actually just started playing the One Piece TCG with my son, which is really, really fun. Um, and I also have I got some Lorcana. Yeah, I have a sealed I actually have a first chapter sealed booster box of Lorcana. Um, and those are actually worth quite a bit of money now too. But no, outside of that, I mainly got a little bit of one piece. I got some Lorcana, but mainly Pokemon right now. But all right, guys, um, I'm going to end here tonight. Uh, I'm going to, I got to get cleaned up and then, uh, tomorrow morning I got to see what time, uh, whatchamacallit, Dragon Dama 2 is releasing. So my eBay account is right in the description of the video. So if you click on my description right now too, anybody who's watching this, if you guys are interested in looking at any of the stuff I'll be selling now and in the future, um, the eBay store is literally linked right in the description might be able to copy the link here i'll post it post it in the chat too for you guys i i do ship overseas um also just gotta let me know we could work something out uh like i said i just shipped it it's actually super expensive i did not realize it was so expensive to ship overseas <laughs> but um yeah, I do. I'll do like flat rate boxes. I'll try to squeeze stuff in there and get it over. It's because I know overseas shipping can be quite expensive. But uh, I try to work with everybody the best I can without losing money, obviously. But. All right, guys, we're going to be ending here. Um, again, I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. I know this isn't, you know, what I usually do, but I don't know. It's fun for me. I have a good time doing it. So there's that. But tomorrow we'll be back. Business as usual. We'll be jumping in with Dragon Zogma 2, which releases tomorrow at some point. I have no clue what time, uh, but it comes out tomorrow. And then uh, depending on you know the day we'll see what other games will be thrown in rotation also because we got some other games that we have fired up maybe some dying light some i don't know we'll see but i love you guys thank you so much remember on the way out if you haven't smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing and uh other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace